Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine Tuesday to you all. Good to see ya, good to see ya, good to see ya! What is up, Captain uh, ooh, Captain Naligo, Lucas Dotto, Wood League, French Fry, Nikella, how are you tonight? Advanced Wit, good to see you as well. Thank you for coming. Psycho Mage, Writery, Jake from Sea Farm. Oh, how is everyone tonight? How did I get a gift sub <laughs> out of nowhere? Were you here last stream? At the end of last stream, Tano's, right as we were hitting Mythic, gave out a hundred gift subs. So you might have got one of those. Carchot, welcome to the Fishbowl. Hey, what's up, Abigail? Thank you for your subscription. Big soup tier for our new subscriber. Good to see you, Quantum. I'm glad you make it. What's up, Robert Lawrence Fan Club? Who's Robert Lawrence? Uh, Matthew, good night. Good to see you. Joseph, I've been running Golgari Standard Good Stuff. Ceratops, Osworn, Knight are murdering Okos. Well, I like the idea of murdering Okos. Oh, I had not. <laughs> Osworn Knight's kind of hilarious against Oko because it would actually grow it, right? Because it comes into play with the counters. Oh, that's that's hilarious. I had not thought of that. <laughs> Thank you for those, Top Hat Dill Lab. Oh, how is everyone this evening? Oh, good to see you, Admiral Average. I'm glad you made it. So, tonight's kind of a, a weird night. The bannings are not up on Arena yet. They don't happen until tomorrow. Pioneer's not up on Magic Online yet. That doesn't happen to tomorrow. So since we have Dead Standard, we don't have Pioneer. Two things that I'm excited about. Postman Standard and Pioneer I'm, like, so excited about. Uh, that means we're Restore Balancing people in Modern. Like, I felt like that was a good way to fill our time. Like, if you got a stream to kill where you can't play New Standard, you can't play brand new format... Might as well restore balance people. That was that was my thought process with this one because I love I love restore I love restore balance. Oh man, it's so much fun. Hey, what's up, White Lotus? How are you? Uh, I haven't had a good day so far. Looking forward to shining personality bring me up a bit. Well, Winter Wolf, that's a lot of pressure, but I will try. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have some fun. I mean, we're playing Restore Ballads and Rhinos off of Fires of Invention. How can we not have a good night tonight? Like, it, it's got to be a fun night. It's got to be a fun night. I'm really excited for this deck. I mean, oh, yes. I, anytime there's a Restore Balance involved, it's got to be good. And we're not 3-2 yet. We're only 1-1. One, one. So hopefully everyone is doing well. Or if you're not doing well, uh, like Winter Wolf, hopefully I'd be doing better as we have some fun playing modern tonight. I kind of want to build zombies for Pioneer. Black, white, black, green, or mono black. Ooh, I'd have to... Man, those tribal decks are tough because I don't remember exactly what is... Uh, what... <laughs> <laughs> Did I try to st <laughs> stroke anything lately? Oh, I didn't realize apparently I said said something funny about stroking in, in the Budget Magic video today until there were YouTube comments about it. <laughs> sometimes I just, like, I talk a lot on camera to record videos and do streams, and sometimes things apparently come out in ways that sound worse than I definitely intend them to be, because I'm not intending them to be bad at all. <laughs> Admiral Average for the 36th month. Three years of resubbing. That is insane. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Why are we not hearing splashing sounds? That's very strange. Uh, thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Hang on one, one second. I gotta figure out why we're not... We should be hearing splashes as people, uh... As people do their subscribing. Do you think Turbo Fog is viable in Pioneer? Ugh, Turbo Fog's kind of like a meta deck. I feel like we have to see what the meta game looks like. If a lot of people are just, like, beating down with creatures, and that's the main game plan... Probably, if everyone's like winning went to fairies and Nexus of Fates, uh, and like Jeskai Ascendancy combo decks, stuff like that, then probably not. So it's gonna depend on what other people are playing, uh, essentially. Uh, so now the field is dead. Uh, now that field is dead, <laughs> I like that, and need something else not fun for my daily wins before I play fun stuff. What should I make? Simic Food, Bant Ramp. Uh, I mean, I would say that the top deck at the Mythic Championship was Bant Ramp, although Simic Food is also, uh, or Bant Food. I wouldn't play Simic Food. I think Bant Food is better than Simic Food. Either one of those are good choices, and I, one of the decks I'm planning on trying is uh, the Slesney Adventure deck, which is supposed to be good at, uh, at beating the food deck so we'll see we'll see we'll see any idea when we will play Bant rampage Ooh, hopefully we get to oh i heard uh i heard the donation still don't know if i hear the subs though whoa a big donation good lord already oh my goodness whoa 50 dollar donation from rakugo uh no need to check now but i sent you a way 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 too long email asking for help with the deck would love a response whenever you could get to it thanks for all the amazing content well Rikugo, uh, 
I am very sorry that I haven't gotten back to you yet, and I will definitely check for it, not during the middle of the stream, but I will make sure to uh, check for it and get back to you. Thank you. Wow, so much for the donation. That is that is a big one. Thank you so much. Will Pack Rat still be good? Mm, maybe. I think the way I'm kind of looking at <laughs> the way I'm kind of looking at uh, Pioneer is cards that were bad, cards that are good in Modern probably going to be good in Pioneer, unless they're like synergy combo pieces that are missing pieces, which is possible. If it's good in Modern, probably going to be good in Pioneer. If it was very good in Standard, has at least a chance to be good in Pioneer. If it was not good in Standard, probably unlikely it's going to be good in Pioneer, unless, again, it's like a synergy combo piece, and then the other piece of the combo wasn't in its standard set or something. So that's kind of what I'm looking at, like, just as a baseline. That's just, like, a general rule. That's not going to hold true in every instance, but that's kind of, like, a, an easy way to think of it, I think. Uh, do you think Pioneer is going to be full of combo decks? I so want to make Mono Black Devotion. Um, I mean, I think there will be combo decks. There will definitely be combo decks as long as Sahili and Felidar Guardian are around. Once they ban that it becomes a little bit harder uh and i guess it depends on what you consider combo decks like etherworks marvel for emerical is that a combo deck that'll probably be around just guys Tendency might have a chance although the mana base is gonna wow another donation it is uh donations like crazy to start off this room well we'll get to a biter soon but first we have a another donation somehow already thank you so much everyone this one coming in from sando mtg two dollar donation do you think the fellow dark guard would be the first First card banned in Pioneer. If not, what do you think it's Axe? First, there are a lot of degenerate cards. I'm expecting that we will see hmm, five, at least five cards banned before the program, I'm going to say. Could even be more than that, but I'm expecting, I mean, Wizards has basically already said that the way they're managing Pioneer and uh, Sneaky Pete, or <laughs> I guess I've been watching that on Amazon. Speedy Pete, welcome to the Fishbowl Party on as well. Thank you for your subscription. Hey, what's up, Prada K? Big soup's here for our new subscriber. So I think Felidar Guardian, top of the list. Energy slash Etherworks Marvel. Like, the banded standard cards, I don't think a Smuggler's Copter will be manable. Reflector Mage won't. Ferocidon definitely won't. Uh, but those cards were weird bannings to begin with. Field of the Dead won't. The cards I'd be looking at, Etherworks Marvel, maybe. Uh, Dig Through Time Treasure Cruise, technically not banned in standard, but could very well be bannable in Pioneer. Those would be at the top of my list. Failure Guardian slash Sahili Rai. One of those, I think, will almost certainly get banned. And then after that, there's other we'll have to see what the metagame like develops into but those are the cards that i am like keeping an eye on the most i think treasure cruise dig through time sahili combo marvel slash something from energy or what i'm most concerned about although really and we're getting off base here i think i'm gonna do a brewer's minute on this one of the things i'm excited about and then i promise we'll do a reminders to start playing magic but one of the things i'm excited about in pioneer is if you look at i guess i can pull some of this stuff up on screen which might make it more entertaining but if you look at some of the the band and standard cards like for example I guess I can just do this in Marble, uh, in Moto. So, all right, quick quick little talk, and I might do a video about this, and then we'll get to our reminders, I promise, I promise. But if you look at some of the banded standard cards, let's say um, Felidar Guardian. Felidar Guardian was banded standard. It's one of the things people are most worried about in standard. If you look at... It's standard format. There were not many answers to it. However, there actually are kind of a lot of answers in Pioneer that we didn't have in standard. We have Pithing Needle. We have Sorcerer Spyglass. So those are two clean answers. We have uh, Authority of the Consoles and other effects that are similar to that. That one was in standard uh, to slow down the Felidar Guardian combo. But we even have like Thalia is like a better Authority of the Consoles and you can actually play in your deck that fizzles the combo. So I'm wondering if something like like really degenerate combos, maybe they're not that degenerate in a bigger format. And the same is sort of like uh, Etherworks Marvel or Emrakul. Emrakul, there's Graveyard Hate, there's uh, Tormod Script, there's Ley Lines of the Void, uh, Etherworks Marvel, there's Pithing Needles, there's Assassin's Trophies, there's Lavinia, which shuts down your opponent from casting things off of it. So uh, I don't know, like maybe everything will still be too busted, but I have a, it's not going to be as busted as it was in Standard. 
because there actually are answers. Value energy is the one that I'm most scared of because, yes, Sun Cleanser is a thing. It's not a very great thing, but it is a thing that you could do, but it's only in white. So the value energy decks seem like the hardest ones to hate out. Awesome, dude, for the 37th month. Woo, well, woo, well, good to see you. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. I still believe that fetches will be reprinted in standard. I don't, they already banned half the fetches. I don't think they can not reprint fetches forever. So I expect they will still be reprinted in standard and the other half will just be added to the ban list. Like that's, that's what I expect. I don't think because of Pioneer, they will just never reprint fetch lands. I still think it's likely that they get reprinted in, uh, in the return to Zendikar, honestly. So, oh, uh, awesome dude. Oh, we switched to a new bot, but Oh, if your if your command is gone, awesome dude, it should still be there, or we'll get it back in there. But we have a a new bot running thing, so apologies, apologies. What deck are you most excited for, a Pioneer? And what do you think will dominate the early meta? Oh, more Pioneer. All right, let's do our reminders. Then we can talk about Pioneer as we are restore balancing people. I feel bad that we're not playing Magic yet, so let's uh, hold your Pioneer questions because I am hyped for Pioneer, and I will talk Pioneer all stream as we're playing Magic. But let's get into our league, and then we can talk Pioneer as we're going. Chalakar, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you. Prices are definitely absurd. We could probably spend the whole dream stream talking about the price spikes from Pioneer. <laughs> welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. So reminders. Uh, yes, I will do Pioneer budget decks. Not weekly, but I will slip them in alongside Standard and Modern, but that's part of my plan. We can't play Pioneer until next stream. It is not available yet, so we will. Uh, planning on Thursday stream being Pioneer. Replay YouTube. Let's read find all the old streams, including this one, in the future normal youtube if you missed it we had a sweet standard budget magic yesterday play some standard affinity there is series tbd legacy action oh my goodness the donations are still coming another huge show what is what is going on with these donations tonight <laughs> raku again uh 50 donation you're not late emailing back i just emailed you a few hours ago so it's all good you know it's me because the deck help is making plane bound accomplice work and modern. I mean, I wouldn't say it's impossible. Thank you so much, uh, Raku. That's so much donating. Thank you so much, seriously. But I will definitely, uh, yeah, then I guess I feel better. I know I have some emails that are like a few days old. I just get so many deck list emails. And on top of like Pro Tours and Pioneer and all this stuff, I've been trying to work through them. But if I haven't got back to you, I apologize. I'm still trying to. I'm still planning on it. Uh, but yes, I will definitely get back to you. Thank you again, Raku. Uh, definitely appreciate it. So yeah, Series TBD tonight playing some legacy dragon slam welcome to the fishbowl thank you so much for your subscription big chew for, <laughs> scoops here for you and old eyes for the third month much love to the best johnny in the internet well thank you old eyes i uh, appreciate the kind words welcome back to the fishbowl big soup cheer for you so uh yes replay uh normal youtube series tbd night tomorrow some modern against the odds with clack bridge troll turned out being pretty fun so good stuff on the youtube our sponsor tonight is of course card kingdom and if you're looking for some pioneer cards maybe for twice the price that they were yesterday apparently uh i don't i could go on a big rant about uh, people i don't mpd finance is so sketchy good lord is it sketchy sometimes uh but you get your cards without any sketchiness from the ever awesome card kingdom they got everything you need you can even grab a saffron olive sticker if you were so inclined so thank you so much card kingdom for supporting the show otherwise merch paids tokens t-shirts play mats good way to support the stream and the channel and the site donations we've already had a bunch of them they're never required but they are very much appreciated two dollars or more gets your message Red Odd stream. Uh, will you be doing Pioneer content on top of the current video roster? Uh, Pioneer content is happening. I think we might see, like, so for example, tomorrow's Against the Odds. We're actually going to do a Pioneer poll, so the next week's Against the Odds will be a Pioneer episode. There might be a Pioneer specific series in the future, but for right now, I'm kind of planning on mixing it in with some of the series we already do because there's no reason you can't do a Pioneer Against the Odds or Pioneer Budget Magic, but maybe. We'll have a pioneer specific series on top of that as well but i can tell you for sure against the odds poll tomorrow is featuring pioneer cards so get your votes in because i'm excited to be building and playing pioneer decks another donation already goodness these donations tonight Wow, we haven't even started playing Magic yet. $5 donation from Orville. Orville. Hey, Seth, a little something in hopes of seeing 
Mono Black Gary Zombies in Pioneer sometime in the future. Well, Mono Black Devotion is one of the decks I brewed up today, so not exactly Zombie Tribal, but it is a Gary deck. That was the idea to maximize the Gary value, so thank you for the donation. So I expect we will be seeing that. So let's talk about this deck, get into our league, then we can talk about all of our Pioneer stuff, whatever else, uh, standard after banning, etc, etc, etc. We probably could do a just chatting scene, Miss Simmons, like the way we're going. So our deck tonight, we are playing some modern. It's our modern night, because nothing else is actually available, and because I still love modern. Paguito, for the tenth month, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. If you would like to send me a cool deck, email me saffronal of mtgoldfish.com I'm doing a pioneer fish tank for this weekend, so if you have cool pioneer lists, definitely send them in. Good chance of getting it into the fish tank article if you're interested in it. So, we are playing Free Spell Fires, I'm calling it. Basically, the idea of this deck is simple. We have, as foretold, lets us cast things for free, slowly ticks up. To go with as foretold, we have Electro Dominance, which another way we can cast things for free, also deal damage to stuff. And then we have our new addition in Fires of Invention. So we have a massive 11 cards that let us cast spells without a mana cost really easily and that's kind of the core of this deck restore balance ancestral visions crashing footfalls so these cards are really powerful but normally you got to suspend them for a while well fires of invention as foretold electro dominance let us get around the suspend drawback we just get to cast them right away so what we want to do is maybe using like simian spirit guide to speed it up get our as foretold down get our fires of invention down and then we just get to start casting ancestral visions to draw tons of cards footfalls to make tons of Rhinos, and my favorite, Restore Ballots, we can sack all of our lands, if we have fires or a as foretold, because we don't really need lands anymore, sack all of our lands, Restore Balance, wipe all of our opponent's stuff, get rid of their lands, get rid of their creatures, see you later, everything our opponent has, and that's basically the deck. The other thing about this deck that I love is it's using a standard trick with Fires of Invention, which is Fey of Wishes. Fey of Wishes can tutor nine creatures from our sideboard, so we can cast the tutor half with our Fires of Invention, then we can cast the other card that we tutor up, and we don't have any like super crazy things, but we got some spice. We can get a Narset if we're worried about card draw. Someone asked about Restore Balance in the sideboard. That's because we can actually find it more consistently in our sideboard, thanks to Fey of Wishes, so we can tutor up our Restore Balance. Shattering Spree for Artifacts. Anger of the Gods is a sweeper. Sinkhole is removal. Finalia Promise, another way we can get free spells from our graveyard. A Blood Moon, Defense Grid for counter, some Graveyard Hate, a Spyglass, an Engineer Explosives, a bunch of Ley Lines of Sanctity. And that's basically the deck. Hopefully sticking as foretold in Fires of Inventions. I mean, we do kind of need lands, but with our free spells, we don't actually need lands. So for uh, mostly what we want to be casting, like Fae of, uh, of Wishes is, I guess, the exception in a couple of Jaces. But really, we're mostly trying to cast free spells anyway. And we can Crashing Footfalls, Ancestral Visions, Restore Balance, even with no lands on the battlefield, because they have zero mana cost. So, and then the other cards that support, Teleri OS, just Transmute to find all of our free spells. And that's basically the plan. Free spell value, again and again and again. Uh, yeah, we gotta be careful about sacking all of our lands, that is true. This deck needs Lorin 3 mana time warp. Uh, we are actually, we did a deck tech of the Fire's Turn deck, and we may be playing that for Much Brew this week. So that's a, another Sweet Fire's deck. I think that's a little bit different. Like, I think the, the ideas of the deck are pretty different. Could we be playing Karn Lattice combo in this deck too? I mean, I guess. You can kind of play Karn Lattice in almost any deck, it seems like. Hey, what's up, Seth? How you doing, man? Budget Magic last night was sweet. Do you think Splashing Black for Tezzeret could be a decent upgrade? I have not tried Tezzeret in Standard Affinity. My concern, like, I think Tezzeret's really powerful, potentially, in the deck. Hey, what's up, Naz? Wait a minute. This isn't Frontier. Oh, isn't Pioneer. Jay's been Prodigy doubled. Now dig through times like 10 bucks. Yes, prices are out of control. And we might talk about it, like... The sketchiness with these prices, the the fact that a lot of stuff spiked like a week ago, <sighs> it makes, I mean, I definitely believe that people get inside information and act on it. Like, I, I have heard enough and I'm like entrenched in the community enough and I start off doing finance enough that I definitely 100% believe that. I mean, I don't know how it happens, or, but I 100% believe that people get inside information about stuff like that. No, I, there's not There's not really any doubt in my mind that that happens, as sad as it is. But 
Nesmith, welcome you back to the fishbowl. Also, thank you for the, the deck list submission, the pioneer deck list. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Boost cubes here for you. We get to play first? Okay. I do like playing first. Ooh, we got the restore ballads. We don't have any way to cast it. I think we just got a mulligan this. Two Fae of Wishes. Uh, okay. Okay. We can, we can keep this. We need one more mana for... All right, we can put a chalice to the bottom. We need one more mana for this as foretold. Well, play Teleri West. Simeon Spirit Guide's our best draw. Then we get to do things immediately. Worst case, we get to run out this chalice. Planes for our opponent? Okay. Well, Fiery Eyelet. <laughs> and let's just chalice on one. No one drops for us. Pass the turn. Hey, what's up, new beater? How are you today? Apparently, the event reporter had Pioneer listed. Uh... Yes, I did see that. I saw the, I think it was like Rogue Deck Builder did a video on that, but that came out like a day ago, and the buyouts were like nine days ago. Oh no! Land! We need a land! We need a land! That's not a land. Oh, not like this! Are we gonna die with Restore Balance and Electro Dominance in hand? Hey, what's up, General Chow? How are you? Are there any old standard decks that you think are going to dominate Pioneer? I mean, I'm worried about... Oh, no. If this is Thought Not Seer, it's pretty bad. Uh, uh, Arbiter. Oh, Magic Gods, give us a land. Give us a land or a Spirit Guide one time. One time, and it saves our day with this Restore Balance. It would be so good. Oh, come on. Come on, Magic Gods. Oh, now we're probably s out of luck. Hmm. All right. Ooh. Because now if they have Ghost Quarter, we get Strip Mind. And, oh, well, all right. At least we can get Strip Mind. Not dead yet. Ish. No Thalia. Thought not. S Ooh. All right. Well, if we get Rhydos, the Rhydos are still good. They're still good. <laughs> I guess they... Uh, oh, no. What a what a bad way for this to go. We could still be... Like, the deck is explosive. All we need is a, a Red Source. Either Rhydos or Restore Balance still probably gets us out of this. We still just need a land. We just need one more land. All right. As for told to gone... Well, now we need a red source. Red source, still, we still win this game, most likely. Uh, Pioneer is the new postmodern format. Starts with Return to Ravnica. Seriously, God. <laughs> God of magic, why? All right, well, turn five, no mana. Boat it. Uh, we're not Scooby because we're still a draw away from just winning this game. Like, if I thought we were drawing dead, I would. But if we draw a red source, we still just win. Unfortunately, we can't sack Islet because that is a red source. And we need two of them. Opponent passes. We need it this turn. Yeah, all right. Well. <laughs> oh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, it's kind of like... Uh, Man, we had the win in hand for the entire game. Um, it's kind of like Frontier. Frontier is the the closest comparison, I would say. Um, hmm. I don't know about these Chalice of the Voids. But I don't know about these other cards. Like, exp I don't think Chalice of the Void does much. I guess we mean, like... Go down Chalice, go down Chalice, go up Sinkhole, go up Explosives, and oh, I feel like this this should be a matchup that we just crush our opponent in, and maybe Anger, although I'm nervous about bringing things out because of Fae of Wishes, but I think that's fine, run it like that. Uh, what do we think of one Goblin Dark Dweller? Um, well, we're mulliganing this one. No mana. All right. Well, this does offer mana. 
sadly, well, it's fine. We will put Jebstone Caverns to the bottom. Uh oh. Uh, all right, Steam Vents tapped. This ad should be good. We get turn two as foretold. Ancestral Visions off to the races. Um, quite a few potential staples ended up getting bought out. Opponent, you know, well, land. Simeon Spirit Guide. As foretold. Step one. Step two. Ancestral. Draw three. Refuel. Uh, we have been talking Pioneer as we go. Ooh. Fate of Wishes. That's sweet. And Crashing Footfalls. Oh, this, hand this is what the deck can do. Like, how does our opponent beat this? How does our opponent beat this now? Even if they kill As foretold, we get another one. Mind Stone? <laughs> You're gonna Mind Stone us? Uh, Thanos is is awesome ooh fae of wishes well scalding tarn crack it we get to play another as oh we're just we're going off we are going off we'll grab an island we will ancestral visions draw some cards i mean look at this is what we want to be doing in game one are we going to be doing pioneer budget magic so my immediate plan for pioneer content is to is to um, yeah, we'll just as foretold. My immediate plan for Pioneer content is to work it into the normal series. Like, our against the odds poll this week is going to be, uh, gonna be for Pioneer. So there will be budget magics, against the odds, much of brews, and we'll see if people, yes, Pioneer stream tomorrow when it's finally online. Uh, so, and then if it's something people really like, maybe there's a Pioneer-specific series as well. Like, I'm hyped for the format, and it seems like other people are. We put up the format on Goldfish yesterday, and we got, in like an hour or two, uh, like a thousand deck lists were submitted. Like, people seem really hyped. And those were not all my deck lists. Those, none of those were mine. So, people are really, really hyped about the format. Or no, not tomorrow. Uh, apologies. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I misspoke. Yeah, no stream to borrow. Tomorrow's a, a off day. Yeah, there's probably even more now. It's up to 180 pages. Yeah, people people are really excited for this format. Like, I'm really excited for the format, too, but people are hyped. Yeah, that is, that is super sweet. Oh, uh, I'll see. I am hyped for Pioneer. The problem is, like, one of the challenges for me is I do all the, like, YouTube and the site stuff, so because, because I do more than, more than just stream, I, I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze in another one, because I have other stuff I gotta do for the YouTube and the site, but we will definitely be playing Pioneer on Thursday. That much is for certain. Well, uh, actually, let's just... Let's just suspend Gargadon. Pass the turn. All right, opponent, do your worst. Hey, Mexico on vacation. Awesome. Uh, listen, Nick, did I ever tell you my Mexico story? I have the most American Mexico story. Opponent. Ooh, Gideon. All right, that's a, that's a real card-ish. <laughs> so, so I think I've said before, I grew up in a, in a pretty like religious family so when i was i don't know uh 18 ish somewhere around that rage uh one of the things you do in in religious families sometimes is you go on mission trips and uh there was a a church mission trip to uh, i don't know the name of the city but it was like a very poor like shanty town essentially uh down in mexico and the idea was uh, we were going to go down and build a house for this poor Mexican family. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Sim, welcome to the fishbowl for the third month. Do you think a combat celibate... Do you think that a combat celibate green red deck and Pioneer would be good? Hmm. Uh, I mean, Pioneer is sweet, so maybe if you get it right, 
Uh, it could be. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big cheer for you. So anyway, go on this mission trip to Mexico, which, again, that's that's kind of like a very, like, religious, growing up in a Christian family thing to do. So we go down there, and it's like we go and we, we work on the house during the day, and then we stay in, like, this boarded up. <laughs> This, like, gated compound at night because it's so dangerous or whatever. But we spent a week, like, building this house. And we we're all, like, so happy when it's done. And the family is so happy that they have their house. And we're feeling good about ourselves. And then we go to, like, drive out and go back to the U.S. And the bus we're in takes down this, like, rigged up power wire that was providing power to the entire shanty town. And we knocked out the power, not just to the family whose house we built but like their entire poor village and then we just go back to the u.s like the most like <laughs> i i don't know just like how how ridiculous is that we we feel like, like so good and we're like oh we're we're such good like people going in doing this mission trip and then we actually like make the whole situation worse and then we like go and i don't know like stayed on the beach for three days or something so i i don't know that was that was my mexican experience <laughs> Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, all right, back to magic. We finally get to, uh, we finally get to Fay of Wishes, which I think is good. Fay of Wishes, granted. Tutor from our sideboard. Yes, please. What do we want? Restore balance isn't even that good here. Maybe finale? We can finale and cast it immediately in Ancestral again or Crashing Footfalls. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just take finale. Finale. Wait. One target instant. Alright, no instant. Sorcery will be crashing footfalls. Cast crashing footfalls. I mean, I think this is just going to trample through this Gideon. Make some more things. Go to combat. Kill Gideon. Oh, our deck is looking good here. Hit our opponent. Or kill Gideon. I mean, I don't think we can lose from here, honestly. Like, it seems... Very difficult for us to lose from this position. We are exactly where we want to be. Troppling over. <laughs> uh, spyglass. Yeah, this works too. We get more rhinos. What? <laughs> huh? I have literally never seen this card in play. Standard, modern, any format. <laughs> okay. Opponent. What does this do? Becomes a 3-3. Whenever it becomes blocked or blocks, you may exile one of those creatures. Can't cast spells with the same... Okay. Well, we're getting... It is Pioneer Legal. This deck is basically very much not Pioneer Legal. The, the ways to cast our free spells are, but the ways to... Uh... <laughs> Dusty Boots, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber, but we're missing our free spells. All right, take things up, take things down. I mean, I assume we win here. Can we just... Do we have anything we can get that just kills... All we need to do is kill a... Cr oh, all right. Well, that works. Uh, Jace. Cast it for mana. Bounce thought... Yeah, we'll just bounce... The knight. That's fine. Bounce it. Attack for 12. And that looks lethal to me. Maybe our opponent is... Eh, Pioneer doesn't have Mind Stone, does it? They do have some Pioneer cards. Leonin Ar they have Leonin Arbiter too, though. It looks a little pioneer s, but not really yet. Got to pull a Nacho Libre and complete the Lucha Libre for the Orphans without electricity. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. My... So, what, uh, what are you all playing? First off in Pioneer. What's your first Pioneer deck? Something else I realized about Pioneer, there's no... Holo 
colorable color pie breaks for white removal. White removal is pretty bad in Pioneer. <laughs> I realize that too. It's like uh, Declaration in Stone is the peak of the, the removal pile, I think. Hey, glad to have you, Russell Cog. Five years from now, do you think that they'll announce another format after Pioneer? Uh, it'll probably be more than five years, but yeah, I think that if I was one running Wizards, that's probably what I would do. Like, that, from a business perspective, we've been saying for a long time that, like, eventually they would make a Pioneer-type format, so. Mardu Aristocrats, niv Jank. Oh, I really want to build niv -Mizzet, but I don't know if I make the mana work. That's what concerns me about niv -Mizzet. Mono Black Devotion, that's one I've been working on. Marvel, kind of boring, but, yes, uh, that'll be good. Blue-White Control, Blue-White Control with one win con. Dig Through Diamond Treasure Curse, yeah, so much good so much good card draw until they ban it, which I think they will. Mine still is not thrown through Sander was 10th edition. Yeah, so it's definitely not quite a Pioneer deck. I've been thinking Copycat might go well with Fires as Foretold Shout. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah, Bird is a deck that I think could be one of the best decks in Pioneer for the immediate future. Like, if my goal was just to win a league on uh, Magic Online tomorrow, I would probably play Bird. I don't think I really will play Burn because I don't like Bird, but if I just want to be as spiky as possible, I think that punishes people that don't have decks that are tuned yet because everyone's just trying to figure out the format, and people are going to be playing tons of Shockland, so I think you can burn people out really easy. Rosalog for the 16th month! Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Oh my god, Scarab God. It's so funny, like, Pioneer, welcome back to the Fishbowl. Big Scoop's here for you. It's so funny because it's like, <laughs> half the time I see cards, and I'm just like, oh, that's so sweet, I can't wait to Panerbotic on someone again, or Sphinx's Tutelage someone again. Uh, but then the other half, I'm like, oh, really? I gotta be, like, Scarab God again? Nexus of Fate? People are gonna be Nexusing me again? Ugh. Hmm. I don't know if we keep this. This looks pretty slow. Slow and no free spells. Well, alright. This is slow, but we have a free spell. We'll put Steam Vents to the bottom. Our best draw, I think, is just Simeon Spirit Guide to get this as foretold down, but... Godfrey's Gift is what I'm excited about. You think that Pioneer will be quite slow? Uh, I don't think it'll be slow, but I think that uh, people will probably be playing suboptimal decks for the for the short term because no one really knows like what the metagame looks like everyone's just trying to brew these decks so i think it's almost like a new standard format where aggro usually does really well the first weeks of the format because people just don't have tuned decks yet um i think it'll be sort of like that in pioneer so that's why i think something like bird is a good choice for like tomorrow i don't know if it'll be a good uh, a good choice a month from now but Ooh, Wilderness, oh, yes, Wilderness Wreck, Dig Through Time, and, oh, it's got it all. Wilderness Wreck, Dig Through Time, Nexus of Fate. We can basically play, like, the Sultai Teachings deck, except without teachings. But Death Ray Shaman is going to, uh, waver your wreck. I, Death Ray Shaman is my pick for a card that's going to be super overrated by, by Pioneer players. I think, based on what I remember from playing Death Ray in Standard, did our opponent get Godsend again? Oh, sort of fire nice. All right. Well, Mountain. Oh, uh, if they take our... If they take our Ancestral here, or our As Foretold here, it's pretty bad. Pass the turn. Death Ray gets a lot worse without Fetch Lance. Yeah, that is pretty much exactly it. Like, it wasn't even very good in Standard. Uh, no. Well, we need... We need another way to cast our free spells. Yeah, that's a thought not. That's not good. That's not good at all. Ugh. We lost the Dyrol and our opponent Eldrazi Temple. Boo. I'm doing the Bonamonicon with Master of Waves and Merfolk tr uh, Trickster. That sounds sweet. Pout it. Get it in. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, come on, deck. Be good. Be good, deck. Take down Gargadon. As for Dold. Hmm. Well, play on the island. Transmute to Laria West. Here we store balance. Well, up to the magic gods. They need to give us a way to cast this restore balance and do it quick. 
Yeah, I think Death Rite's going to be one of the most uh, overrated cards. Because without fetches, it's not very good. And it's actually, like, pretty bad without fetches. Well, alright. Opponent's going to get him with the sword. The only good news is, if we draw Fires of Invention, As Foretold, or Electrodominance... We sweep our opponent's board, and we get rid of all their lands, and we probably just win. Like, we have draws that just win us this game, but it's going to have to happen quick because of this Thought Not Sword combo. How long before your first Panharmonica and Cloud Blazer deck? Uh, it might be, might be tomorrow night's stream. <laughs> How many Fabled Passage Feshes could they possibly make? I mean, there's like Evolving Wilds. Come on, deck. Come on. Way to cast this Restore Balance. That works. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> the question is how many lands can we actually sack? Or do we sack any? Davey Ix, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup's here for our new subscriber. Who? Uh, the Kaladesh lands should be very good. I think it's Shock lands, Buddy lands, Fast lands. Those are the those are the three big ones. Sack so suspend, sack them all, replay our land. This is going to be down to 7654. All right. That sounds, I guess, fine. So suspend Ancestral. I mean, I guess we're also going to be empty hand. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going all the way. We're going all the way. Fiery Islet. Float our mana. This deck can have instant speed interaction, right? We can do a draw step. Yeah, let's go. Let's do a draw step. I can't imagine they can mess. They can't mess this up, right? There, there's nothing with flash that's going to ruin our day. I hope. Hey, what's up, Dogamith? Snapdragon for the third month. Three months already. Where does time go? Oh, I know, Snapdragon. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big scoops here for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're going draw step. I think that's fine. So, go draw step. Opponent draws. We will float our mana. We will sacrifice. Yeah, they could have. What if they have mana tithe? We're gonna. We're gonna also float this mana. <laughs> we're gonna spend a life just in case. Sacrifice. Sa if we get blown out because we went draw step, I'm gonna be disappointed. Sacrifice. Mick. Uh, Mitchy Town is famous. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Sagaball, Sagaball, Sagaball. Electro dominance you. X zero. Restore balance you. Good game, well played. <laughs> You should put Restore Balance on the stack and hold priority before you cast that case, say, Resto would response to Electrodominance. Um, would that actually change anything? Maybe it would. Oh, we even get a card off this, thought not. Yeah, you were correct, though. I was mostly worried about, uh... <laughs> oh, I love Restore Balance. Two creatures, four lads, opponent's hand gone. I mean, that, and we get to draw a card? From the thought not. I mean, our opponent put up a good fight, but all right, your go, opponent, your go. <laughs> take him down, take him up, take him everywhere, and I think we're in. Uh, I think we're in good shape. <laughs> I didn't want to get. I didn't want to get manatized. <laughs> I didn't want to get manatized. Maybe that's a silly thing to play around, but. But it would be so brutal if it happened. Uh, all right, pass the turn. Well, next turn we get Gargs, and that's a clock. Ninachuk for the tenth month. A uh, clean, a clean restore balance is the best. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for. We just get it for free this turn. Thank you so much. We could have got it last turn, I guess. I don't think we can. 
I don't think we can lose from here. It seems basically impossible. Who beats a restore balance? <laughs> uh, greater Gargadon. An opponent sees the Gargs, scoops it up, and that is what our deck can do. Dog of Myth handing out the gift subs up to 82 in total. Might actually be second most gift subs handed out except for uh <laughs> except for Tonos. Thank you so much, Dog of Myth. Dragon Mage and Shavo! Welcome to I guess that's true. We couldn't technically get mana dive. I guess we should have just did a damage. Welcome back to the Fishful. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. We're off to uh, a good a good start. A very good start. What a no with the free spells. So second question, I asked you about Pioneer. What are you playing in standard? post banning and Oko is not an accepted answer because I assume that you're going to play Oko but other than Oko <laughs> what do you want to try now that we have bannings in standard hey what's up zombie manager how are you this fair fair Tuesday evening yeah it's no Oko gruel aggro Ugh. Ugh, I don't think gruel is good <laughs> I know everyone likes it because it won but I think it's bad mono black rankle sweet I like rankle Teamer Reclamation. Teamer Reclamation probably is good. I know I always lose to it when I play it. Thankfully, not many people play it, so it doesn't happen very often. Esper Stacks is, uh, is good. Field of the Dead got banned in Standard. Ooh, a Shimmer Dragon is sweet. I really want to play a Shimmer Dragon deck. Teamer Wishes Ramp. Ooh. Mono Black Conrad. Ooh, is it like a, a combo deck, or are you just playing it kind of value style? Um, can we keep this? Yeah, we can. We might regret it, but I think it's I think it's fine-ish. Huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, good good game. <laughs> Oh, they got us. <laughs> that was the best Merfolk Seeker Keeper I've ever seen. Oh, sure. <laughs> Six months already, Karen. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. And I earned Reddit for 34 months. Welcome you back as well. Big soup's here for you. Uh, apparently this deck... What is, what is this deck? This is, like, the jankiest looking deck I've ever seen. Is this a real deck? Or is this just, like, jank that happens to be working out at the moment? I mean... <laughs> okay. Yeah. 15. Oh, we might be okay. Maybe. So we get to Chalice on 1. That keeps some stuff from coming back. Take five, as foretold. Take five, tutor up restore ballads. All right. I mean, maybe we're going to be okay. <laughs> turn one, Merfolk Seeker Keeper. Four power. Turn two, Glimpse Myself. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen any veg vines yet, but yeah, that's what it does kind of look like. Pona hits us. Down to ten. And Vern Catacombs, Hardcast Narcomoeba. We could just draw Restore Balance. That would be sweet. Pona passes. Ancestral's not bad either. Play a Island. Play as foretold. Draw some cards. All right. Pass the turn. We might be okay. If they have Creepy Chill, we're probably not okay, but... Uh, most importantly, are dinosaurs good in Pioneer? Uh, I think my general rule is if it was not good in Standard, it probably will not be good in Pioneer. So I'm going to go with no. That doesn't mean 100% no, but it seems unlikely. Err, stream mode. Once upon a time. Sure, sure, sure. Err, err, there we go. What's our opponent find? A polluted delta. Okay. Combat. 
It's us. Down to four. Passes. Well, take up as foretold. Jace. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. So we have to... We have to restore balance. I mean, we can get restore balance with Teleria West. I think that's better than using Fey. Actually, no, I guess Faye's fine. I don't think we sack lands. Pony has four cards in hand. Uh, how do you like Fires of the Free spell back? We haven't drawn it much yet, but it seems really sweet. I think, uh, I think I like it. Ooh, Chris, for the 25th month, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup's here for you. Well, let me see, uh, Bibbo. Mono Black Conrad, Calder for Billiard, Deathless Night Loop, Forever Young. Ooh, that sounds super fun. Food. Ooh, that's a uh, Shimmer Dragon, Masterful Replication Food. I have not seen that before. Uh, we have Restore Balance. So, all right. The question is, do we have to kill lands? Maybe we do. We get to Simeon Spirit Guide. Exile it. Play a mountain. Fay of Wishes. From our sideboard. Yes. Take Restore Balance. Suspend Gargadon. Oh, hopefully we do this right. Maintain priority. Restore balance. Sack a land. Sack a land. Sack a land. Sack a land. Hey, well, we'll see if it's enough. Wipe it all out. Wipe it all out. Ooh. Both go down to four cards it had. No lands for anyone. Pass the turn. Pwn it. What do you got? What cards do you think they should ban in modern now? Hmm. Um. That's a, that's a kind of tricky one. I would lean towards something like Mox Opal, uh, probably. Pwn it passes. Take up. It's kind of funny we're both playing adventures in modern, of all things. Gemstone Cavern, well, uh, we will cast with As Foretold. Get a blocker. Telerio West, go. Faye beats 50 turns. Only 50 turns to go. Are you going to play Food, Treasure, Clues, and Pioneer? Hmm, I have not. I have not actually considered food in Pioneer. Sleeper cards for Pioneer. Oh, I'm sure I will have some. I've been working on, so far, like, decks that I think will be somewhat competitive have been kind of my first goal. Especially going over decks that I remember, like, uh, enjoying in past standard formats, like Mono Black Devotion, Rally of the Ancestors, kind of like nostalgia factor. So I'm working on an article of that. Working on a video for Brewer's Minute about uh sideboard cards primarily like what cards are good for beating marvel and felidar guard like the bannable cards that we are going to need to answer for the media future um those are those have been my first forays but definitely have a lot of i'm sure i will come up with some sleepers as we go along blue eye control seems like it'll be good one deck i was looking at was the dragon control deck like esper dragons but hmm but I'm actually not sure 
I guess we could have went with Gargan on there. Maybe we should have sacked everything again. Psycho Smurf, but I'm not sure it's better than just playing Planeswalkers. For the 36th month, another three-year resub. That's insane. Pioneer's got so much brewing, fire-growing in my LGS. Here's my first take on the deck. Ooh, let me see, Psycho Smurf. Nut draw, turn to nine power, but... Uh, by your animating Sire of Insanity. Ponit scoops it up. They got to a good start, but not good enough. Ooh. Reanimating Sire of Insanity. Let me see this by Psycho Smurf, Rakdos Whip. Oh, I used to love Whip in Standard. Sidisi Whip. I played that deck a lot. Blood for Bones, Collective Brutality, Cathartic Union, Fossey's Fatal Push. That looks, uh, that looks super fun. Kind of like a somewhat dredgy, I guess I would say, uh, Reanimator deck. That looks super sweet. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Like, how has the hype level been, like, among your friends? Like, what are you thinking about this format? Like, is this gonna be the new modern? Is that where we're heading with Pioneer? Or is this gonna be the next Tiny Leaders? <laughs> or the next Frontier? <laughs> uh, like, ooh, Mech, and I, Mech Pro with Food Sounds, really fun. Some God Pharaoh's Gift action. We played uh, God Pharaoh's Gift in Modern, and it kind of worked. It should be able to work in Pioneer. Abzan, God Pharaoh's Gift. Uh, I think you always play Seder Wayfinder over Glow Spore. At least I always do. I hate... Oh, you have Slater. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Maybe you play Stitcher Supplier over it. That might be better. But uh, that looks sweet. I mean, getting back Seizure I knows. Ooh, is Seance? What's that with Seance in? That was the original Innistrad, right? Dark Ascension. Yeah. Yeah, no seance shenanigans. I'm willing to bet Emrakul gets banned in Pioneer sooner rather than later. I'm waiting for things to settle. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting one. Will it end up getting banned? Maybe? Uh, another interesting question. Do we bring in Anger of the Gods? Or do we trust that we're going to Fae of Wishes for it? I guess we just Fae of Wishes. Just run it back? Like, oh, Tormod, we gotta bring in Tormod's cl uh, Crypt. It's too slow if we don't. Maybe we down like, one Jace? All right, run it like that. Run it like that. Is your Abzan rights deck mostly legal in Pioneer? Ugh, it's missing... It's missing rights itself. That is the biggest thing it's missing. All right. I mean, we don't have Graveyard Hate, but we have Fires of Invention... Dominance to Ancestral Visions. Seems like something we will keep and hope for the best. Goth Socks for the 11th month. My concern with Pioneer is now cards are getting stronger for Standard, but played in Modern. Wait. My concern with Pioneer is now cards that are strongish in Standard, but played in Modern have little to no chance of being reprinted in Standard to not pollute the Pioneer pool. Hmm. Interesting. I had not considered that aspect of it. I mean, that is a, that is a legitimate concern. I can actually, I can see that. I mean, hopefully that they still just, uh, print what needs to be printed or do more reprint sets, but yeah, that is a concern. Uh, Death Ray Shaman, I don't think will be good. I mean, it will be good in specific decks, but in general, I don't think Death Ray Shaman is going to be, uh, good. So I think it's unlikely to be banned. Your thoughts on Goose Land and War Elf being the only real one man <laughs> dorks of Pioneer? I was actually like, oh my god. Oh, we're dying. We are dying. Wow. Pony had the, some really awesome mills there. Huh. All right. And here they come. Down to 14. Flares of Invention. Not going to do it. Well, Islet. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not seeing a way out of this. I'm not seeing a way out of this one. Ponet. Well, Ponet is milled very well. Ew. Hitting that Gravecrawler and the Vengevine. I mean, our opponent's deck is obviously explosive when it mills very well. Gets in. Hits us. Well. All right. Electro Dominance for Ancestral Visions. Save our day. Draw some cards into something to save our day? No. Something to save our day? No. All right. Well, that was good, Millen. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, Chalice on one seems like it just beats our opponent. Ooh, come on, deck. Be good. 
be God. Blood Moon? Hmm. We could bring in Anger. Maybe we gotta bring in the Anger, too. I'm, like, worried about bringing in stuff that we want to tutor for, but maybe that's silly. Maybe we should be bringing it in. It's just so slow. Fae of Wishes, turn four. Anger on turn five is gonna be too slow. Hey, what's up, uh, Spelfer? How are you? Yeah, let's just go down Jace for Anger. Jace is a card that we're more than happy to tutor up with Fae of Wishes, but it's just gonna die to Vengevine, so that seems, that seems fine. All right, we're on the play, which is nice. <laughs> oh boy, I'm actually tempted to keep this. <laughs> we have Torvald's Crypted Chalice of the Void. Oh, do you suppose the next Modern Horizon style set will be Pioneer Legal? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, this is actually one of the most tempting Zero Landers I've ever seen. We are on the play. We don't have that many lands. We only have a single Tormod script, and it's in our hand, and that's our best sideboard card. And Chalice seems good. The problem is we just have no clock. Yeah, I think we gotta ship it. If we had one land, it was a snap keep. Uh. This hand's not good. All right, well, this will keep. We will put two crashing footfalls to the bottom. I mean, I assume turn one chalice is pretty good. It's gotta be. I mean, this is all we got. Hopefully it's good enough. Turn one chalice on one. Go ahead, opponent. Can you beat it? With all your one drops. <sighs> I mean, this hand's fine. This hand's fine. We can suspend Ancestral if we don't draw anything. <laughs> oh! No way! Huh? Their next play force a negation? What? Oh my god. Alright. Well, two cards in hand here at the end of our first turn. Opponent. How well do they mill? I'm sure the answer is very. Opponent passing. Hmm. Do we suspend Ancestral or do we wait and hope we draw? Yeah, I think we gotta wait. Scalding Tarn go. We gotta draw a way to cast it. Pass the turn. Oh, you know our opponent's gonna mill mill well because they've milled well every game so far well that was not well apparently they're playing a ton of force negations bonant cracks i think it's just too slow against this deck i think we're dead before it comes off suspend overgrow tube odd tap ponent well prized amalgam Passes. Well, cracks called Igtard. Steam vents tapped. Come on, as foretold. As foretold would be nice. Well, Teleria West pass the turn. As foretold or Fires of Invention. Found it. Ugh. Oh, that force indication was so brutal. Opponent gonna build themselves. That's what they were hoping for. More, well, they milled most of their force indications. Mills themselves. All right, opponents, entire deck gonna be in the graveyard. Do we find anything? McKerry for the 21st month. Been brewing Pioneer all day. I've been doing a lot of Pioneer brewing today, too. Oh, seems like such a fun format. Deathrite Sh Shaman, hardly impressive without Feshlands. See Standard back then. Yeah, I don't think uh, Deathrite's very... I mean, it's good if you're playing a graveyard-based deck, but in general, it's not very good without fetch lands. Opponent, gonna keep milling. More prized amalgams. Alright, Tormod Script, way to cast our free spells. Uh, 
Well, now I wish we had suspended. Our opponents kind of, kind of whiffed. Oh, they're not going to keep whiffing. Oh, yeah, I guess in hindsight, maybe we should have, if we knew we were going to draw, draw another Ancestral, about it, Mills themselves. They have a zombie, so their board's coming back. We are running out of time to get out of this. Our opponent draws their zombie like a pro. Oh, creepy chill, every prized amalgam. Well, we got a top deck, and we got a top deck now. We are running out of time. And Solar Effect on Smuggler's Copter seems good. We also have Ornithopter and Darksteel Citadel. Ooh, playing some, uh, some janky artifact beatdown. That seems fun. I mean, that deck was pretty good in standard. Well, Ancestral is so slow. Gargadon, not a helpful magic card. And I guess that's it. Pony had force negation. We mold to five, and that's the game. Ugh. Brutal, brutal, brutal. And they top decked the Stitcher Supplier, which was a brutal list. If our opponent didn't hit that, their hand wasn't doing anything, but they, they hit it at the right time. Yeah. Well, that was some um, interestingly good running from a deck that I don't think is... Eh, I don't know. I don't know. They got us. Uh, that's what counts. Oh, that was that was brutal. That was brutal. Hmm. Oh, that was frustrating. Forgot about Grim Flayer. That will be in Pioneer. Yeah, Grim Flayer is in Pioneer. Well, on to the next one. Wonder if Pioneer will drive up sales for Walmart Chaos Packs. Eh, maybe. The Walmart Chaos Packs are very uh, are very random. It's a good deck? Eh, I don't know. If <laughs> it seems like a deck that just scoops really hard to... I think... I mean, with how that game played out, if we kept the Zero Lander, I think we're, like, very heavily favored to win that game. <laughs> we didn't keep the Zero Lander. But a single Torbod script in our opponent's deck, our opponent would have done, uh, done nothing. And if our, our opponent didn't have blue card Force of Negation, they also would have done nothing, so... Uh, all right, let's play Spire Bluff. You. They should have made a Moto Chaos Draft non Phantom. That would have been sweet to have non non Phantom Chaos Draft to Scalding Tarn. Well, that means counter spells could be a concern. Well, we're gonna get to Ancestral. That's something. Not the best Ancestral, but an Ancestral. Opponent. Crack Scalding Tarn. Northern Vanguard! Welcome to the fishbowl. I mean, our opponent's deck last game looked interesting. It just seems like it does not beat Graveyard Hate, which is uh, a little a little bit problematic, perhaps. Good lord, another massive donation! What is going on with the donations tonight? Huh, McKeary, 1210, with a hundred dollar donation huh also panharmonicon eerie interlude siege rhino seems like pure seth value so here's for picking up a few copies of each well mcgarry that is definitely my kind of value and thank you so much for the massive donation thank you thank you thank you goodness thank you so much seriously that is insane opponent island thing in the ice well, I guess the time has come to try to do this. Get a mountain. Get an island. Electrodominance. X1. Mostly just need this Ancestral. Ancestral. Draw some cards. Eh, bless. That's actually, those are good draws. Those are very good draws. That is the draws we were looking for. Exactly. Pwn, it passes. Oh, now I'm feeling good about where we're at. Play a Blast Zone. Play 
as foretold. Ancestral, again, draw some cards. Oh, we're good. We're good. Pony made it close, but I think we're good now. We will pass the turn. We will discard a Spire Bluff Canal. Uh oh. Wow, bolts our face. All right. Yup. Not a 15. Pony. Oh, I think we got him. New Frontier, new format with Rhinos. How many Rhinos fit in Pioneer? I would like to revisit the Rhino deck. I think that would be super fun. Oh, first time catching live. Love the YouTube. Well, welcome, Odin. Thank you for hanging out the live stream and for the kind words. Psychologist for the 37th month. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Beast Soup's here for our new re subscriber. Do you think that Modern will become legacy player base? Um, I mean, it could happen eventually, but I'm not too worried about it happening in the immediate future. I think it's something that could happen. That could happen eventually, though. All right, let's Chalice of the Void, X1. Opponent Spell Snares. Well, Simeon Spirit Guide to Larry West. Get Restore Balance. Cast it. Wow. All right. Opponent's got the counters for days and days. Can't pay. Well, all right. We'll see if we're dead. We we definitely could be. That is a sadly realistic possibility now. Opponent. Flip it, flip it. How do you feel about Golos Marvel decks that are running around <laughs> and with Karn with copies? Wait. How do you feel about Golos Marvel decks running around with Karn as copies four through seven of each? Eh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, this is what's going on today? Really? This is modern? This is what's going on in modern. Force of Rage. Okay. I mean, that is a technically illegal spell. Jace. Hmm. We have played two of the jankiest decks I think I've played in Modern in a long time. Uh, what would have been a better name for Pioneers of Format? Uh, I don't know. That's a that's a good question. What do what do we do here? Is there any way we can not lose to a burn spell? I don't think so. Unfortunately. Postmodern postmodern makes sense. Well, transmute to Larry West. Get restore balance. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna lose to a silly, a silly burn spell. Electro dominance. Oh no! Oh, well, all right. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. Well, that's not how we were hoping that would go. Ugh. 
Everyone's Ranker! Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Oh, yeah, the idea was to cast Electro Dominance for mana. But uh, apparently we cast it with As Foretold. Majority nothing wrong for the 15th month. Well, I mean, we're dead to a bird spell either way. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much. We should have had Rhydos, though. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Oh, you're welcome, Tony. Yeah, I'm glad I could uh, try to help a little bit. Yeah, Garrick Tribal's definitely a fun deck, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Pioneer's kind of a weird name. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. Is it Charm? Opponent goes looting. Looking for some damage to kill us. Force of Rage. Well, I mean, we're going to be able to say we lost to Force of Rage. That's a new one. Uh... Where can you find my Swordmaster Surprise deck? I believe if you look down that list or just type Swordmaster Surprise in, you should be able to uh, to find it on there. And I'll take up as foretold. Oh, now we draw Gargadon. That would have been so good last turn. Well, we will... Crashing Footfalls. Make some blockers in case there's a Force Rage. Although this still doesn't stop us from losing to a Burn Spell. All right, Force of Negation. Well, we will Jace. Take up Jace. Pass the turn. Hope our opponent is not... If they have another Force Rage and we die, I might quit Modern forever. Opponent. <laughs> not like that. Not like that. <laughs> really? Okay, Day's Undoing. As foretold, ticks up. Huh. What is going on in this deck? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I really, really don't understand. Uh, okay. So, Jace, Brainstorm. Put back a land. Put back a land. Scalding Tarn. Crack it. Down to one. Island. Ugh. I don't think foot like we're trying to not lose to burn spells, I think. How many force of rages can someone actually play? Can't be that many. So I think we're actually going to transmute. I think what we do is transmute. Ugh, try to get a chalice? I am Gregor. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Chalice on one. Well. 
Um, yeah, all right. As we're told, draw some cards. Pass the dirt. <laughs> uh, this deck is tricky to play against because I have no idea what our opponent's doing. It seems just like a random pile of magic cards. And that makes it really difficult to play against. I mean, we can Crashing Footfalls at instant speed off of Lecter Dominance, so there's not any real big rush. I mean, we can get Rhinos before our opponent's uh, next turn. Opponent, two cards on top, plays a land. Force of Rage. Goes to combat. Attacks. Well, Electro Dominance. Crashing Footfalls. Block. Block. Ha ha! Take that! <laughs> Force of Rage. Whew! Oh, we're out of quotes at the moment. As we're told, ticking up. They the quotes haven't transfer uh, transferred over yet. Uh, all right, so we I think. Uh, how do we do this? We have rhinos. We have a two turn clock. I think. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go restore balance. I think that's gotta be our plan, and hope they don't have a counter. So we play. We play Gemstone Caverns. We go to combat. We attack. Hit our opponent. Down to eight. We transmute to Laria West. We get Restore Balance. We suspend Gargadon. Simeon Spirit Guide. As foretold. Take up Jace. Cast a new Jace. Keep the new Jace. Restore balance. Sacrifice everything. Oh, will it be enough? Did we? Oh, we got there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I really, I really didn't want to have to say that I lost to Force of Rage for the rest of my life. <laughs> we very narrowly dodged. <laughs> we very narrowly dodged having to admit that we got forced to Rage. Oh, opponent's deck is spicy. Force of, I can't believe I'm saying that, but Force of Rage was like, kind of oddly impressive in our opponent's deck. <laughs> Maybe it's better than it gets credit for. Oh, man. Wow! I cannot believe... I guess we got pretty lucky. I cannot believe we didn't die after that draw seven. Oh, yeah, we still have time to lose uh, for it. What do I think about Brawl being on Arita only once a week? It is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, and the support for Historic is even more ridiculous. Like, I don't know what Wizards is thinking. I watched uh, a Jeff Hoogland video today that was him talking on his stream, and Jeff is a very big supporter of Arena and tends to be pretty critical of Magic Online. 
Uh, so for Jeff to kind of be feeling the same way, uh, that kind of says something, because he kind of tends to give Rena Arena more of the benefit of the doubt than I do with some stuff, but it is, it is pretty sad. Um, especially that there's no Pioneer on it. One day a week, yeah, Hoogland. I happen to see it. Yeah, uh, Jeff could be a little over the top sometimes, but the video was very was very good and i actually agreed with a lot of what he was saying uh in this video in specific so yeah uh so yeah uh i'm just mostly disappointed it does one of the things that he said in the video was it kind of feels like arena's a little money grabby and it's just like we want to get as much money from standard players as possible and i can't really blame people for feeling that way with how with how historic is uh and brawl has been treated like it sounds like a conspiracy theory when you say that it sounds like a conspiracy theory but then like the announcements of like historic and brawl and all that stuff like it th th that's the message it's sending like so i i don't know i don't know what to think anymore uh, definitely disappointing like i would have loved to just see him say i know that it takes time to actually like program a client and do all that stuff I get it. I'm sympathetic of that. I'm not expecting them to have a uh, pioneer on arena this week or anything, but I would have felt so much better about it. If they had said, this is coming to arena. It might take us a couple years. It may, maybe it'll take us five years of programming in like a couple extra sets a year or whatever. But long-term our goal is to have pioneer on arena. So it'll probably take us a little while to get there, but that's what we're doing. And all that's all I need to say. And I would have been, I would have been fine with it and relatively happy about it, but ooh, I don't know. I mean, the problem, like, ah, I think the problem is it seems like wizards feels like if, we don't give players any other option except standard. They'll play more standard. Like, it feels like that's what they're doing with Arena. Uh, but really, I don't think that's true. Like, if they're, <laughs> if you don't give players anything but standard to play, uh, and if standard is bad or someone's not feeling standard, they're not going to be like, oh, okay, I'm just going to play more standard because I don't have any other options. That's a really silly way to look at it because there's a million options. There's Hearthstone. There's a new, like, League of Legends card game. There's a Turtle. There's uh, Playstations and Xbox. Like, like, Fortnite, there's a million possibilities. So, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, uh, I've been saying about Arena the whole time. Like, if you give me more formats... I'll play other formats. That's what I've always done with Magic. Like, I'm a Magic player. That's, like, pretty much the only game I play, uh, at least on a regular basis. So when Standard is bad, I play Modern. Or I play uh, Legacy or Vintage. Like, uh, that's, that's what I've always done with Magic. But that option isn't really there on Arena. If Standard is bad, you can draft against bots, or you can play Historic once a month or Brawl once a week. Like, I would just not play Magic. <laughs> it's very sad. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I definitely disagree with it. I'm hoping that there's, like, something... Huh. Fair? That actually does cut into our blue mana pretty well. <laughs> More Jesus. I don't challenge you. Yeah, we'll play it. Ugh. Well, now we're going to need Fires of Invention. Because <laughs> we can't cast blue spells. So, yeah. I mean, hopefully... Are we going to get Narset Wield? Is that where this is headed? Okay. I guess our opponent's deck's... Force of Negation. Our opponent's deck's starting to make a bit more sense. It's looking like a Narset wheel deck. Well, Spire Bluff, you. Well, I guess our main game plan is to win with this Gargadon. Actually, in that context, I think we cast Simeon Spirit Guide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which means we get a Gargadon next turn. And then we cross our fingers that Gargs gets us there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, I still really love playing Arena, and I think that Arena has been pretty good in general. I just don't understand their, like, management of it. That's the part that befuddles me, is just, like, how they're handling clients and stuff, or formats and stuff. That's the part that I struggle with. Not so much the game itself, which I think, yes, it lags sometimes. So in general, it like looks good and it plays fast, and I'm really happy with that aspect. I just don't understand why they don't put more like formats on it and stuff. Why should I put any money in Arena now? Pioneer is replacing Historic, and Historic will never be real, so money spent will literally disappear in two years. I mean, play Standard. It's good for playing Standard. I mean... Ideally, performance is something that can be fixed and will be fixed. And they have, they've even said that that's something that they're working on is like high on their, their to-do list. So I'm pretty hopeful that the performance issues will be fixed, but the, the management issues, that's not like a bug that they're trying to figure out how to fix. That's just like choices. And those are weird. Julian, with a $5 donation, I was going to say something awesome, but Oko, Turn my donation into a 3-3 elk. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, thank you for the donation, Julia. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. Uh, hmm. Jeez. Do we just go? Go for it? If they flip thing in the ice, we lose. And it's a three turn clock. Kind of a shame we're getting got by Blood Moon when we're a Blood Moon deck. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do here. Well, you can't force only its non creatures, so I can't force Gargadon. The problem is flipping thing in the ice, because we're gonna we would have to sack literally literally all of our permanents. Alright. I guess we keep waiting. Well, we'll know we gotta fetch out basics next time, since our opponent's playing Blood Moon. Bonet. Is it charm? Counters off thing in the ice. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, Chalice is decent, but it doesn't stop Thing from flipping. All right, Serum Visions, land. Holding onto the Force Indigation for some reason. Yeah, I guess that's true. We don't really want to check uh, Sack Chalice. Bonet takes down Narset. Gets... The funny thing about this deck is a wheel isn't even that bad for us because we can't cast anything anyway, so... Meh? <laughs> sure, wipe our hand. I've seen this username before. I think it's some 5-0 drops. Ooh, very... Ugh. More things in the ice. That's... Well, now I wish we had a Chalice on two. Opponent gets another Is It Charm. We could still draw Electro Dominance. It does get forced, but... Huh. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure there's a path to winning this game. Opponent. Is it Charm Part 2? Opponent, gonna pass. What do you think about fetches being pre-banned in Pioneer? Um, I think it's necessary to make the format feel more different than Modern. I think I think that if you had the fetch for shock mana base, it would definitely be modern modern light. But with no fetch lands, it's going to have more of its own identity. So I think that it's actually a pretty a pretty good call by Wizards, pretty good move on their part. Huh. Well, we haven't actually seen a force of rage. 
I think they've been sideboarded out for Blood Moon. So technically, we're losing to Blood Moon. And I can't even complain about that. Because I've Blood Mooned a lot of people. So no complaints about that. As long as it's not Force of Rage that we're losing to. <laughs> uh, that said, they're probably going to just like Force of Rage us now that I said that. I'm happy Fetchers are gone. I've been saying Fetchers shouldn't be in Modern for a long time. Oh, I think Fetchers should 100% be in Modern. Uh, and I like Fetches as as cards. <laughs> the old Blood Moon Archmage's Charm plan. Yeah, all okay. right. Ambitious. Ambitious mana base, I think I would say. Opponent, Island. So the problem we're going to have with two things in the ice is... The first one's going to be able to flip the second one. Serum Visions gets countered. And this Blood Moon's definitely getting to us. I mean, the price of modern could definitely be fixed by, or the price of fetches could be fixed by printing them more. Like from a gameplay perspective, I like them. So thing in the ice flips. Yeah, this this probably gets us. I mean, we gotta go for it. But if they can flip the second second thing in the ice, we're pretty dead. Yeah, all right. We gotta go for it. Sack you. We know one card in hand is a force of negation, which can't be cast. The question is, what is the other card? I mean, now that we're going down all these lands, if they can flip the other thing in the ice, it's game for sure. Sack, sack, sack. Sack. Well. Moment of truth. Can they flip it? Gargs. Cast it. Or counter it, I guess, somehow. Okay. Eh, Alright. <laughs> right. It was another opt. Well, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Huh. We got Blood Mooned. Hey, what's up, Donos? Uh, if fetch lands are imprint a land for your deck instead of double landfall graveyard filling, it would be much more fair. I mean, I think the thing I like about fetches is they aren't fair. Like, for me, and that's also why, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm glad that they're not in Pioneer, so it has its own identity. But I like the fetches let you shuffle with your brainstorm in Legacy, or, like, feel it, like, all that stuff, I think, is part of what makes them sweet. And I'm glad that that exists. Like, I think, I think formats like Modern and Legacy would be worse without Fetchland synergies. But I'm also glad that Pioneer is going to have its own identity without Fetchland Synergy. So that, I mean, yeah. I think, I'm glad that we have different formats that have different uh, different identities like that. Modern Simic Pioneer Scales. Ew. Pell Collector, Incubation Druid, Voracious Hydra. Yorvo. <laughs> Mawu. <laughs> Grun. Got some uh, some good names. I will definitely give it that. Quasi duplicate hardened scales, Simic ascendancy. That definitely looks uh, that looks fun. I don't know. Hmm. I'm having a hard time envisioning how it's gonna line up with the pioneer format. But it seems like a a nice like budget option. It definitely uh, seems fun if you can get hardened scales going with some of those cards. They can get big really quickly. It's kind of a pretty unique take on uh. On like a stompy deck. Krasa seems like it could be good. Lotus Cobra, no. Lotus Cobra is in Zendikar. And thereby not officially legal. Uh okay. So hmm. Chalice is good. Million counter spells is annoying. Our own Narsets could be good. Maybe like Narset Defense Grid? 
going down a Jace and ugh. I guess one fires. I think we need Electro Dominance because of Blood Moon. All right. Turn one chalice. Let's do it. We get to play first. Well, okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the rhinos can get there, perhaps. Unfortunately, we don't really have a, a way to beat a Blood Moon. Land, go. But we are going to be able to, like, Crashing Footfalls turn two. Maybe into Narset? That could, that could work. That could maybe work. Fix, fetch in a new format. Pay one life. Name land type or land type. Sacrifice it. Reveal cards or type your library into you. Reveal land matching the name land. Put it on into play. Put the reveal card on the bottom of your library in a random order. Hmm. I wonder if that could work. I think... I mean, it seems like maybe it could. Spire of Industry, go. I like uh, I like the idea of it. I kind of like the land token idea, too. Just, like, create a token that's uh, whatever of this land type. But there's also some potential issues with that. Hmm. All right, we're going to keep waiting. Ancestral. I'll play a mountain. Suspend Ancestral. Pass the turn. We want to elect your dominance on our opponent's turn to get around Force Negation and why our opponent's tapped out. That's our, that's our goal. Steam Vets. Untapped. Cracks it. Are we getting Blood Mooned? Thing in the Ice. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we still get Spell Snared. Uh. What do you think about the new Pioneer Love Hate or Edge of Insanity? Uh, I really, I love the idea of it, and I'm really excited to, uh, to play it. We'll see how it shakes out in the end. Hmm. Probably gonna end poorly. Jeez, this bell. All right. Well, take down Ancestral. Narsat. Every counter in the world. Oh, that's not good. Mira was stated they don't want to do land tokens because of playtesting issues. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, opponent Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, the old, the old Blood Moon Archmage Charm Mystic Sanctuary archetype. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what does this mean? Oathbreakers and Frontier are going to be cost in the garbage. Well, Frontier is definitely replaced by pioneer that's pretty straightforward oathbreaker is kind of just a community run format so i don't see why that couldn't remain a thing although that's just basically up to uh what the community does 
What do you think about Historic? Do you think it's going to be Dead on Arrival? I mean, I basically thought it was Dead on Arrival from when they announced it, just the way that they're not supporting it, but I think that Pioneer means it's, yeah, doubly Dead on Arrival. My commander group isn't going well right now. Someone put Vorinclex in their deck, and you can imagine it's causing problems. Advice. Ugh. Um, hmm. Kill them first <laughs> until they take Vorinclex out of their deck. I mean, I don't know how what kind of uh, relationship you have with your playgroup. I don't know if it could be a thing where you where you uh, talk to them and are like, "Hey, like that's not super fun. That's kind of like not what we want our playgroup to be like." And it depends on the rest of the playgroup too. Like you can definitely do house bannings and stuff, but the other option is just. Uh, Kill Vorinclax or kill your opponent. <laughs> Clone Vorinclax is another good idea. Well, alright. Let's get Force of Negation again. <laughs> oh, sure. Ops, force negations, flip the thing in the ice. And then I guess that's just game. Yeah, fair enough. Sure. Seth, thoughts on white, black zombies in Pioneer? Uh, I mean, they have a lot of tribe members. They, they could have some potential. Rim Runner! I haven't really tried to build them yet, though. Rim Runner, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Put a bounty on Vorinclex. If you kill it, I don't attack you till the game is almost done. That can also work. Some good old commander politicking. All right. Untap. Ancestral. Taking down. We're at 13. Hmm. Fay of Wishes. So obnoxious. Cast Fae of Wishes. Pass the turn. My almost four year old sons loves Power Ranger Dino Charts. What's your favorite generation of Power Rangers? Ooh. I haven't really I never really watched Power Rangers. Ponit, gonna get back Force Negation. Yeah, I don't know about being Mystic Sanctuary Tribal, Blood Moon Tribal. I don't know about I don't know about that deck building decision. Ponit. Magmatic Sinkhole. Alright. Well, I mean, that's it. That's it. Let's see. We know they're drawing Force Negation for the 45th time. So they can counter our Ancestral Vision. Opponent gets in. Hits us. Well, Crack Islet. Draw a card. Untap. Well, let's see if our opponent has two counters. Ancestral Visions ticking down. We cast it. Opponent lets it go. And, yeah, we're dead. Well, fair enough. <laughs> oh, boy. We have lost to two very interesting decks, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's modern. You never know what cards will show up in your opponent's deck. Well, we gotta win these last two if we're gonna we're gonna feed the kids. Oh my goodness.
Oh, those have been two absolutely brutal losses. Before we get to the next round, a reminder that our sponsor tonight is Card Kingdom. And if you need some new magic cards, you can get them over at CardKingdom.com. So thank you to Card Kingdom for supporting the show. It's not really Blue Moon, though. Blue Moon, Force of Rages, <laughs> trying to play Archmage's Charm with Blood Moon and Mystic Sanctuaries. Uh, it's a little a little odd, synergy-wise. Pioneer is going up after downtime tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, evening sometime. Uh, do you have a v uh, VOD of any Iron Craig Dragonstorm list? Uh, it's on the YouTube channel. We played it for Brew a couple of weeks ago. So that's probably, uh, that's probably the place to go. Considering the Hasbro's quarterly report led to almost a 20 drop in share prices today, I think we will continue to see Wizards double down on cash grab style products for Arena. And possibly, I listened to uh, I listened to the conference call or whatever they do, and it sounded like Magic did okay, but Hasbro in general didn't do super great. Are you upset by the historic thing? I mean, we all spent money to get cards they rotate and now we can't do anything with them no dusting on it either i'm furious about this um sort of i mean i'm just yeah i mean i am disappointed but at the same time i don't know it kind of feels like par for the course <laughs> with the arena economy so so yes, like I wish that it wasn't that way, but at the same time, I guess I just don't have like a ton of a ton of faith and stuff like that working out. If if that makes any sense, I don't know. I was expecting more. I really was. I was never expecting to have like full full modern on arena or anything, but I was hoping that they'd have like something more than just standard i have a modern deck for you where would you like me to send it or do you want me to pitch the idea first uh yeah email it to me saffron olive at mtggoldfish.com i would love to see it you can also stick it in the chat although even if you do stick it in the chat still email it to me because usually decks that show up in the chat by the end of the stream i don't usually have or i just have like a hundred hundred browser windows up um do you think that arena will ever be coming to gaming consoles or mobile uh, consoles maybe. Mobile seeming less and less likely. I thought they had said originally, like, and this is not, I could be misremembering, but I thought the idea was it was going to be like on mobile and Mac by the time it launched. And now we've officially launched and it's not on anything, unfortunately. I'm thinking about revisiting the approach of the Second Sons in Pioneer. What are your thoughts? Um, I think the approach of the Second Sons could be fun. You get... I mean, I think you can play just, like, a pretty solid, pretty solid control deck, and then, and then also have, um, that in your deck. That's probably the direction that I would go. Uh, all right, pass the turn. They don't need Arena on Mobile to do well. I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt. Isn't, like, everything on mobile these days? <laughs> <laughs> or Seb McKinnon Chalice. <laughs> uh, chalice check, just to be sure. <laughs> Opponent's passing. Taking down... We played a lot of uh, a lot of blue decks. Blue decks for days and days. Pass the turn. They did have mobile builds, binaries, and clues in closed beta, but those disappeared. Yeah, I don't understand how they said... Yeah, the Death Ray Shaman spike is because of Pioneer, although uh, I don't really understand it, unless you're going to play it in a very like specific deck. Kaya's Guile, okay, sure. Um, so does this mean all the other cards will rise, rise from the ban list or from Oblivion to the Misfits that never get used? Um, There will probably be... I'm sure there will be lots of spikes from cards for Pioneer. Uh, I don't know how logical most of them will be. Like, 
I'm a little skeptical because I really think that the mystery boosters are going to be some sort of reprints for Pioneer. That's just my speculation, and I could be wrong, but that's that's my guess, that it's going to be some sort of reprints. Another Kaius Guile. Hey, opponent's gaining some life. Untaps. Mystic Sanctuary without any islands. We have seen some very ambitious Mystic Sanctuaries today. Creeping Tar Pit. Opponent getting frisky. Yup, yup, yup. Hits us. Alright, I mean, this Restore Balance could be pretty good if we get to it. Down to 13. Opponent passes. Well, let's draw some cards. Finally, the slowest Ancestral Visions in the world. Yeah, there's been a lot of spikes. I would probably... If it's not stuff you're going to use for your Pioneer decks, I'd probably look towards selling, honestly, because I really think we're going to see reprints. Opponent. Drown in the lock. Yep. Well. Let us... Jace. Brainstorm with Jace. Put back Chalice, ill, And Crashing Footfalls. Pass the turn. Those are not really cards that we were looking for. Ugh. This is awkward. <laughs> this is very awkward. Found it. Undeps. If Baby Jace ends up being good, it's going to be insanely pricey. That is very true. And I don't know. No fetch lands, but still, I expect Baby Jace to be pretty good. Opponent gets in. Is there anything we get out of our sideboard that helps us here? Opponent going to go attacking, go attacking, go attacking. Jace down. I don't really think there is. Hmm. Opponent. Chalice check. <laughs> Number two. Tassiger. All right, we need to be able to cast this restore balance, and we need to be able to do it quickly. That is, that is where we are at. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're basically dead. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. You can do it. Untap. Draw. Crashing footfalls again. Well, sag this. Draw guard. Ancestral visions again. All right, Simeon Spirit Guide, go. Oh, well, maybe this deck just isn't good. I was so excited to try this deck, but boy, I don't know if it's us or the matchups or the deck, but this has been absolutely brutal. Opponent gets in. This game, we just haven't, we've made it through like 17 cards, haven't had any ways to cast a free spell. We got, have we cast a Fires of Invention this entire league? Uh, we do not have Elector Dominance in the sideboard. Oh, man. Oh. All right. Well, I mean, we drew it, but unfortunately, it's a turn too late. So now our opponent has mana up, so now it probably gets countered. Activates Tassiger. Gets back Fatal Push. Well, at least they can't Cryptic right now. Like your Dominance. Restore Balance. Come on, please. Please, please resolve. <laughs> we really need it. Huh, okay. All right, we're 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 technically alive. We still got to deal with this creeping tar pit somehow. Um, Fae of Wishes, 
Fey of Wishes. Ancestral Visions. All right. What just happened? <laughs> Each player chooses a number of cards equal to the lowest amount of cards, discards the rest. Huh. Well, apparently there's a bug with Fae of Wishes and maybe... Maybe it's counting these as two cards incorrectly? Huh. Well, that's not our fault and also not good. But there's no... That is definitely not balance being restored because our opponent has three cards. <laughs> and we have we have one. That's a tar pit. Oh. We could have also Fate of Wishes to get Blood Moon to lock our opponent out. I think we had a chance to win that game, but... Arch Burglar Lord, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. It makes you appear for our new subscriber. That's a new one. <laughs> uh, huh. Huh. All right. Well, as foretold. Ancestral Visions. Telerio West, Greater Gargadon, Spaz the Turn. I guess we should have held on to Telerio West, probably. Eh, probably. Oh, Astra! Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's cheer for our new subscriber. No, you, each player chooses a number of lands they control equal to the number that the player with the lowest amount controls and then sacrifices the rest. So you choose the cards to keep and then discard uh, discard the rest. So we did it properly, but we uh, <laughs> we discarded all of our hand for some reason. Hey Seth, finally caught the stream live. Been watching your content for years and your hand down my favorite. Keep up the great work. Excited to see some spicy pioneer decks for Against Odds. I am also excited for some sweet, sweet pioneering on Against Odds. I think it's going to be super sweet. All right, pass the turn. Definitely should not have played the Teleria West, although definitely should have multiple Fae of Wishes in hand. Uh, the one who knocks for the 28th month. I am excited. We might be playing Better Monicon on Thursday's stream, actually. I am ready for for some <laughs> Banner Monicon action. Any judges in chat on Arena, I tried to copy a spell with God Eternal Kefnet that drew off a looting effect, and it would not let me cast the copy due to discarding the card. Is that a bug, or is it how the interaction works? Um, what was, what was the looting effect? Opponent, combat. Well, we get to kill it. A gluten explosion. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup's cheer for our new subscriber. Bow it, passing. Oh man, I wish we had these Faya wishes. Oh, it would be so, so helpful. And I'll take up, take down. All right. Telerio West, transmute. Get Ancestral. Cast Ancestral. Draw some cards. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. All right, pass the turn. I mean, we are alive. Even after the Brutal Moto Pump, we are still in it. Still trying to feed the kids. Uh, Yarakabonagon in <laughs> Pioneer. That does sound sweet. I got a budget-ish Marvel deck if you want to take a peek. Ooh, yeah, let me see uh, Samurai Dance Rules. I would love to. Opponent. Passing. Well. Tick down, tick up.
draw fires of invention well play as foretold Ugh. okay yeah that gets us Unless our opponent casts Drown in the Lock on, as foretold. Huh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Simeon Spirit Guide? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right. Uh, suspend Gargadon? Pass the turn? We're alive! We're still alive! Oh, Budget Marvel! Uh, that looks... I mean, Marvel has potential to be pretty powerful. Main deck fail of Summers. Through the Breach is a good backup plan. I like it. All right, opponent. What do you got? If they try to, like, Fatal Push our Simeon Spirit Guide, we can Gargadon. Otherwise, we... I think we just block. Oh, I guess they can't Fatal Push. All right. Untap. Take our stuff. Are we gonna win this? After Moto tried to tried to uh ruin the game for us. Cryptic is a thing. Hey what's up, White Lotus? How are you? What are the must have staples for Pioneer? Ooh. Shocklands. Buddy lands, fast lands for the mana base. Thought sees, um, probably some planeswalkers. I'm not exactly sure which ones. Getting an ally of Zendikar maybe, and then there's a lot of like archetype stuff. Uh, Felidar guardian combo stuff. Uh, energy, Etherworks Marvel stuff. So that stuff's more for uh what deck you're building. But I would be leaning towards the lands first. I think those are at the top of the list. Question is, what point do we just go for it with Gargadon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, all right. Take it up, take it up. My prediction, Wizards will change Planeswalker priorities so you can bolt Jace, etc. before activation. Ooh, that would be interesting. That would be a decent way to, like, power down Planeswalkers. Well... Chalice X2. Just keep moving up the Chalice line. Force of Negation. Okay. <laughs> Pass the turn. I mean, we will get these Gargadons eventually. I'm just really worried that they're going to end up getting countered and then we're going to lose... It's this is a weird scenario. Now that energy is back in the spotlight with Pioneer, it's got me thinking, why isn't energy good in modern currently? Um I think the big issue with energy in modern currently. Oh boy. This would be a great turn to draw restore balance. That would be so good. Opponent passing. Restore balance, please. Please. Or the fa man, if we had not discarded those fav wishes, I think we're like 100% to win this game. Oh, uh, if Moto had not bugged us. Uh, more Gargadons! Hmm. Well. One. We got to do it now while your opponent's tapped down. Two. Three. Four. 
<laughs> Get Gargadon. Yup. Cast Gargadon. Pass the turn. <laughs> uh, I think there are much better things to do in modern. Oh, so why is energy not good enough in modern? Uh, there's just better ways of doing what the energy stuff does. I've seen a couple of, like, Etherworks Marvel decks uh, now and then show up, but I don't know if we actually want to play Fires of Invention here. Because we're not going to have many lands, and it's going to keep us from being able to, like, cast multiple things if we get, if we get like, an Ancestral Vision. So I think it might actually be kind of like a detriment here. And I'll take down Gargadon to six, as foretold. Okay. Pass the turn. Boy, we are holding on by a thread. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, well, that's actually okay. Gargadon still holds down the fort. Opponent. Wow, getting in. Um. Okay. Block, block. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we need to create a a staples list. I need to create a staples list for Pioneer. Jesus game. It seems like most people are hyped for Pioneer. That's been my impression at least. Well, Gemstone Caverns. Pass the turn. I guess we're not that far away from being able to cast Greater Gargadon with As Foretold. That's the thing that we're working towards. Opponent untaps. This has been a ridiculous game. Why didn't you sack guide to Gargadon before they gain life? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess uh, that would have been the correct play. Any mono black ideas for drowning the lock? Well, sack Gargadon. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Well. Yep. Uh, sack. 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 Uh, Gargadon can't sack enchantments. Artifact creatures lands. So, Fires just sits out and potentially is a bad thing for us. Gargadon number two, do you have a counter? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, it's hard to not look at those two Fey of Wishes that Moto bugged into our sideboard and think that we would have won that game if they were in our deck, in our hand. Hey! Getting owned for not sacrificing guide. Well, I mean, we lost to a Moto bug, but you're right. We should have, uh, we should have sacrificed Gargadon. You are correct. Does Fires prevent you from casting Gargan off Suspend on your opponent's turn? Uh, it does. I believe it does. I don't know, Suspend is so weird. My understanding is yes, it does. But I'm not, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Suspend is just, like, such a weird mechanic. What was a bug? Uh, we cast a Restore Balance, kept Fey of Wishes, Fey of Wishes, 
and ancestral visions and moto did not let us keep the fey of wishes so after our restore balance we had one card in hand our opponent had three and then the fey of wishes would have very easily gotten blood moons and narsets and we would have won so a little bit disappointing that that's how uh, that went uh fire so greater gargadon you can sacrifice an artifact, a creature, or a land. So while it is correct that we should have sacked Simeon Spirit Guide a couple of turns ago, you can't actually ca uh, sacrifice Fires of Invention because it is an enchantment. Who? Hey, what's up, uh, Mano Mars? It has been interesting. We've played against some very interesting decks. We've found some Moto bugs. Record-wise, it hasn't uh, hasn't gone to plan, but. We've had some interesting things happen, so that counts for something, at least. And we got to talk about Pioneer a lot, which is sweet. <clears throat> Definitely want to play Control in Pioneer, just don't know what colors I want to play. Oh yeah. I mean, hard to pass up on Teferis. Teferis are really solid control cards. I would have a hard time passing up on Teferis in a control deck. Hmm. I guess we can... Let's bring in the Blood Moon. Go down one fires. Run it like that. I will not be supporting Pioneer at all. I'm not excited about it because of what Wizards is doing to their customers. Ooh. Uh, what do you mean, Stone Rain Productions? Well, all right. I mean, we're going to keep this. If we get to four mana, this hand seems like it does things, which is appealing. See you then. Step. Go. Mono black ideas for Pioneer. Um, probably the easiest mono black idea is mono black devotion. I think that uh, I think that that is probably the m will be the most common mono black deck. But you can probably do play like mono black aggro. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess aggro and devotion would be the two most common. Yeah, the historic things make sense. Stone rain. That is definitely. Something that I think it is justified to be frustrated about. All right, opponent takes our chalice, sure. And passing. Land? Ancestral. Well, we will suspend Ancestral, place Scalding Tarn. Land! Oh, Simeon Spirit Guide there would have probably won us the game. Ooh, look at this hand of power. Can we get to it? Can we get to it? Hey, what's up, black guy? You're welcome. Own it. Oh, Inquisition. Ay, 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 ay. Life without Chalice is a, a little bit tougher. I sent Wizards an email telling them how upset I am over the whole thing. I bet it will fall on deaf ears. Oh, yeah. That might be true. It kind of seems like uh, maybe Hasbro might have a lot to do with some of those decisions. Well... Nothing goo. Pioneer Horizons, please. I still think it's possible that the mystery packs are Pioneer's Masters. Or something something similar to that. Eh, to Fairy A. Eh? That's pretty good against our deck. To Fairy Tiggin up. That bounces uh, all of our enchantment based stuff. And passes. Land! We need a land! Uh. Alright, Gargadon. Ah, this is going wrong in a bunch of ways. We can't even cast our as. Jeez. Uh, ay, ay, ay. This is what wrong in many, many ways. Uh, the historic thing... Oh, it's just not supported is the big, uh, the big issue people are having. And combined with... Uh, combined with Pioneer not going to Arena and kind of being strictly better historic for the most part. Opponent... Snapcaster for discard. Oh, this is this is uh, slightly nightmarish. 
Uh huh. Thought seizes. Yeah, a little late with our lands. This ancestral fizzles. To fairy bounces fires. Ew. Oh, we needed that first one, the Moto Bug game. Oh, we needed that one to have a chance in our mask. I mean, I guess the good news is we can always blame our league record on the Moto Bug, so. <laughs> we got an out. We got an out. Uh. Bonnet cracks. Is it confirmed that a Repiner won't be in Arena? Uh, yes. They said it's not coming to Arena, and they have no plans to put it on Arena. So they're pretty, pretty, uh, pretty clear on it not coming to Arena. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I guess we won't concede, but I think this uh, pretty much does it. Oh, Teferi stopping our suspend cards. I thought Historic was kind of a weird name, too, because Historic sounds really old. Historic sounds like vintage to me or something. So I thought that was kind of like a weird name as well. Pioneer, at least, I guess they're trying to get people to think of Frontier, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know if they want that association or not like it does describe the format but frontier like it was never supported by wizards but it never became like a a big uh a big deal or anything opponent jason mind sculptor yeah okay brainstorms i think we're pretty uh pretty safe to scoop our moto bug match well one more chance to do something with restore balance so far, we got a win. We had two losses in really tight matches to unique decks, I would say. And then the Moto Bug. Ugh. Not going to post a good record, unfortunately. I don't think... Uh, sounds like CWC Spy Ninja Sam. Hmm. I don't know who that is. Um... Well, there's a bug with Restore Balance and Fey of Wishes, discarding uh, cards. Oh, uh, no, you're... You're good, Stone Rain. I don't... I do not blame you for being frustrated. It is... I definitely think that the management of Historic has been... Has been very poor. And I'm... I'm mostly disappointed that, uh... I'm mostly disappointed that they're not putting pioneer on arena like that seems like the easy solution pioneers better than historic anyway like it's bigger it's better it's like i think that's what most people Ooh. uh okay well restore balance is good against this deck if we can get it down ancestral suspended Ooh, I don't know if Chalice does it, though. Lands! We need lands! Ooh, we need lands! I've kind of been a little disappointed with uh, with how this deck is played. Once upon a time, opponent. Is Devotion going to be the Tron of Pioneer? Oh, I think Copycat is probably... Right away, I think Copycat is probably going to be the best deck. And the deck that is most likely to be a problem. Opponent grabs a bounce land, plays a bounce land, picks up Colony Garden, and land. Opponent passes. Take down Ancestral. Hmm. Well, Scalding Tarn. Crack it. Island. This is all going to come down to a sticking restore balance, I think. Chalice on one. Pass the turn. At least this keeps this keeps a Mulet off the battlefield. Atarka Red or Boros Burn seem like they could be good. Azusa. Alright, here comes the rampant. Forest. Call me Garden. Opponent. Passing. Oh, not passing. Explosives on zero. 
Well, that means Amulet's still going to be able to come down. Take down Ancestral. Well, there's a land. Play the land. Oh, all right, chat. We need we need a vote. We need a vote. We have two possible ways here. Will you dress up for Halloween? Uh, is Halloween on a stream day? Is it a Thursday? What day is Halloween? Oh, it is. Hmm. Hmm. I probably am going to have to now. I'm probably going to have to. What do we do here, though? We have two options. Option one, Simeon Spirit Guide, run out Jace, take up Jace, try to keep our opponent from playing Primeval Titan. If they have a Titan in hand, we're probably going to lose. Option two, Simeon Spirit Guide, Fae of Wishes, get Blood Moon. And then try to Blood Moon next turn. I don't know what's better. I don't know what's better. I probably got to get a costume now. Why not Chalice on zero? Our deck is built around casting uh, zero mana spells. So we can't really Chalice on zero without ruining uh, our own deck. I will try to get a costume. I don't know what yet, but I will have to, uh, I will have to get a costume. <laughs> Bray Wyatt? Is that the wrestler guy? Ugh. Gingerbread cookie, pirate, maybe even a viking. I could probably do a decent viking, I bet. What do you... Uh, what they should do... Ugh. Alright, let's play Jace. Can you live stream for my channel? Uh, I'm really the only one that live streams on the Goldfish channel, so... Hmm. They have no blue mana. Okay, you can keep that. Alright, no Titan. Don't Titan us. Please don't Titan us. Please, 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 please. The hair's got to come down for this last match. It's coming down. <laughs> oh. Kessel Garenbrig. Is it a Titan? Oh, of course it is. All right. Sure. Oh, it's... <laughs> uh. Yep. Well, they had it in hand. They get the Titan. They play the Titan. And we're going to have to, like, Jace brainstorm into restore balance and a way to cast it. And then we probably win. That's what we need. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. No other options. It's got to be that. I don't know about the Fae of Wishes in this deck. Even outside of the Moto Bugs, they just have not been good. They've just not been that good, unfortunately. So what should I dress up like for Halloween? That's a good question. Pirate and carry around a little Panormonicon. <laughs> uh, the Green Giant 2 Yorbo. Ooh, I could, I could do some Yorbo. <laughs> uh, About it. Getting their lads. Considering their lads. Simba? <laughs> Torbran? Okay. Torbran, I can see that. Ajati. Hostage Shaker. Maybe like the, the promo art one. Dress up as Tomer? <laughs> ginger suit. Oh, maybe I might have to do the ginger suit. Emrakul? <laughs> oh, Field of the... Duh. Field of the Dead. Just when I thought we were done with this. All right. Opponent. Well, Restore Balance still does it. That's what we need. Ponet gets in. Hits Jace. All right, deck. All right, it is your time. It is your time to stick it to this Primeval Titan deck. Another land. Well, can we hit it? One more turn for Ancestral. Gargadon. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. 
opponents out of cards in hand. Brainstorm with Jace. Come on, deck. Come on. Oh, no! Oh! We hit it, but we don't have the mana. We're a mana short. We hit Fire's Restore Balance, but we can't cast it this turn. Oh. Oh. All right, so we will... Cast Fey of Wishes. Suspend Gargadon. Play Teleria West. I mean, this still might be okay. They don't have a Amulet. So they don't get to double strike their Titan. Maybe? Maybe this will work? Maybe we got a chance? Pwn it. Tap of their mana. I mean, the Restore Balance is coming next turn. We just got to live this turn. We got a chance. We got a chance. Pwn it. Summoner's Pack. Paid for. The Restore Balance will win this game if it, if we get to untap here. That's what Restore Balance does. That's what it does. Come on, deck. <sighs> no, we can't really transmute for anything immediately helpful. We can transmute for, like... Ancestral Visions, Restore Balances, Rhinos. But until we have a Fires down, we can't really cast them. So it doesn't do anything immediately. But it's helpful in this sense for next turn, because it's going to let us cast this Fires. Oh, no. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Oh. Oh, no. We can't not cast Ancestral. Oh, it doesn't actually do it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I forgot about that. Pwn it. Combat. We might have to open some pity chests because of the moto bug. Pwn it. Goes attacking. Goes attacking. Goes attacking. Oh. Oh, so we're still, we're still not going to win. Oh, that ruins everything. <laughs> I don't think you can uh... no you have to cast it there's no option to not cast it you just you cast it when it's done being suspended <laughs> oh that's the worst firing fires of invention is anything attack okay field of the dead bounce lands Sure. Is anything attacking Jace? So Jace is dying. Hmm. All right. Yep. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Pout it. What do you got? Wow, what a crazy way for this to not work. Got it as foretold. Or maybe, maybe Electrodominance in a red source. We do get to draw three. Nope. One more. <laughs> oh. I'm actually starting to think that this deck is just not good. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jacob TG? Oh, we've had fun, but we have not won. Hardly at all. Some of that is from Moto Bugs. Much of it is from our deck apparently being pretty bad. <laughs> oh, that's unreal. That is... Huh. I'm starting to think that this is actually just a really bad build of the deck. I mean, it's kind of stuff we'll talk about in the wrap-up once we're done with our league, but I gotta say, I we have played, like, as foretold, Electro-Dominance decks in the past, and 
this one with Fires of Invention, Fay of Wishes. I think this feels like the worst one that we've ever played. Um, I mean, we could cast Fires, but we couldn't cast Restore Balance because. We can only cast two spells a turn with fires. We had to cast the suspended ancestral visions. That's just how the timing lined up. Uh, so that's spell one. Fires is spell number two, and then that's all the spells we get, and we die to the to the attack. Been playing some evolutionary affinity. Ooh, that sounds sweet. Hey, see ya, CWC. Thanks for swinging by. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, I don't think they had lethal? Oh, I thought they had lethal. Maybe I was mistaken. Good old Trampoly Primeval Titan. All right. I mean, in the Magic Gods we trust, we have the setup. Do we live long enough to make it work? Teleri West tapped. We have fires. We have restore ballots. We need two mana. Two mana is what we need. Misty Raid for us for our opponent. Opponent keeps seven. We will see. Cracks it. Come on, deck. Come on. Is the hair downstream again? The hair came down after the moto bug. <laughs> uh, the moto bug brought it down. Oh, that would have been... Shells would have been nice before that. Footfalls. Fires of Adventure is also a smidge on the expensive side. Chalice X1, go. Lands. Lands to get to this Fires of Adventure. We have fires. We got ballads. That is the win, essentially. Opponent plays Delaria West. Opponent. Passing. We draw. That is a land. I'll play the land. Um, suspend Gargadon. Pass the turn. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. You could do it. One more and no counter spells. Hugh Gibbet, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. And Pioneer, are there ways to change? Are there any ways to damage the opponent for drawing cards besides Enchantment Witch and Obnixilis? Hmm. Those are the two that I can think of off the top of my head. Yes, Thursday will be Thursday will be Pioneer Stream. Probably Pioneer Panharmonicon of some kind. But I'll probably have I'll probably have like a Panharmonicon deck and then maybe like Copycat or some like tierish deck that people want to see. But Panharmonicon for fun, something like Copycat to see how busted it actually is. Or maybe burn. Uh, Davriel damages for not having cards in hand, right? I'm trying to think if there's any red spells that are like damage equal to the number of cards drawn. <clears throat> All right, pass the turn. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Fires of Invention has been like actively horrible in this deck. Yeah, Ruin Flare Tap isn't actually there. Uh, <laughs> Big Scoops Cheer. That's uh, the emote with the this <laughs> the cheering fish whose name is Scoops. Uh, it's kind of a... It's been that way forever, so now it's just a tradition. But no one understands it. It's really long. What do you think about changing up the sh sub shout-out? <laughs> would there be a riot? Or would everyone be like, thank God I don't have to hear that for the millionth time? Explosives on zero. Opponent passing. I mean, we're still alive, which means we could still hit a land... Opponent passes. Gargadon taken down. Foot falls again. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it, Riot. Mix it up. I like it. Please change it. <laughs> if it changes, we riot. Play Mono Blue Tempo for Pioneer. Be the bully that says no to all the fun things. Oh, I want to do the fun things, though. 
It feels like Richard is threatening to say it every time where you get fired. <laughs> oh, that's definitely, that's definitely not, not true, but that is funny. Phone it. Amulet. Well, we're running out of time to hit this land. Well, after hitting Mythic yesterday in uh, in Standard, we have come crashing back down to Earth today. We want to not fetch because we need to draw land, and fetching would would take a land out of our deck and slightly decrease our odds of drawing one. So I think when you need a land, you usually want to not fetch. Oh, this is the turn. Can we do it? Can we draw land? And plus, we didn't know what was on top of our deck, so... Well, all right. That's not a land, but as foretold, might do it. Land. As foretold. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just kill stuff. So, restore balance. Sack. After all of our complaining about lads, or asking for lads, we just sack them anyway. Sack our lands. Yeah, all right. Opponent down to Amulet. We're alive. We're alive. We might have it. I've got to make them draw their cards and deal damage to them. Yeah, that might be the way to go about it. Forcing your opponent to draw cards would definitely uh, speed things up. Did you see the Red Game Control deck I emailed you? Wanted your thoughts on it. Ooh, MTG Gizmo thing. Did I... I went through a bunch of emails today... Okay, another scout. And responded to them. If I didn't respond, then I probably have not uh, gotten to it yet. I know I still have a bunch to get to. Hopefully in the not super duper distant future. Hmm. Well, make rhinos. Pass the turn. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Found it. So what deck do you want to most see for Thursday stream for Pioneer? Uh, I think there are enough extra turn spells that you could make Pioneer taking turns. It would probably be like Nexus of Fate style, though, I would think. Rather than kind of like modern style. Uh, we have a Greater Gargadon suspended. Wow, I got a lot of these one mana put a land into play things. All right, take it up, take him down. As foretold. Well, we will... Hmm... Crashing Footfalls. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Well, this is it. Do we have a chance? Down to nine. Opponent's probably going to get a Titan, but is that even enough now? Opponent. Titan might not be enough. We might be doing it. The Rhinos, we're up to four. This was not as smooth as we would have liked, but we're doing it. Mana Barb's burn. Narset Day's undoing. Pioneer taking turn would be like Manubu Prism. Yeah, or like some sort of Nexus deck, something along those lines. What do you think of the price spike of key cards in a new format week before it was even announced? Um, I mean, someone got inside information and bought cards? <laughs> that, would be, that would be my guess. I'm pretty convinced that stuff like that happens. So, I mean, I guess the other... 
possibility would be I don't know when it like was posted on the Wizards event reporter. Was that like a day before they announced it or two weeks before they announced it? I didn't hear about it till like a day before they announced it. And even that didn't say other than like it's a competitive format. It didn't say like what the card pool was or anything, so Nothing was spiked IRL before the announcement. I mean, does it really make a difference? And I I would have to look. Uh, but regardless of whether you buy out Magic Online or buy out paper, like the information part would be the same. What's up, Stu, by the way? Well, here comes a Titan. Does it just beat us? Maybe. Summoner's Pact. Uh, opponent is apparently running under the assumption that they're going to beat us, because... Okay. Opponent did all this with a single land, by the way. Worth mentioning. Two lands. Untaps all their lands. Sure. Uh, showed up in uh, Event Reporter a week before the announcement. The bio started several days before it was found out on Wizard Event Reporter. Yeah, I mean, I definitely believe stuff like that happens. I've known enough <laughs> examples of it where it seems like it does. Opponent gets a Pact of Negation. Puts the land into play. Unta I guess maybe we should have stacked stuff for Gargadon... Maybe we should have sacked stuff for Gargadon earlier. This is quite the turn for our opponent. Titan number two. Yeah? And I think that means we're just dead. <laughs> well, that shows you the power uh shows you the power of our opponent's deck. Yeah, all that with a single land. That is the power of Amulet. We even had the chalice uh on one, but our opponent had the engineered explosives and that does it. I guess if we did anything wrong here, maybe we should have sacked Rhinos. Maybe we should have sacked Rhinos before our opponent uh, was able to tutor for Pact of Negation. I wasn't really expecting our opponent to uh, be able to tutor for Pact of Negation. I was thinking they were going to have to get Summoner's Pact, but apparently they already had it. And yeah, that there's no way out of this with Double Strike, right? I mean, we can block, but I believe they're going to gain double strike here. Should I go out and buy Deathrite Shaman now or wait until they get banned again? Okay. Wait, they're not getting double strike? What is going on? Opponent's making a ton of mana during combat. Oh, now they're going to get the double strike land. Yeah, oh, goodness. Well, restore balance was not enough. Our opponent followed up with amulets, and they get to double strike both of them, and that is definitely game. 
Fair enough. Our opponent has a counter spell in hand. They tutor up a counter spell, so Gargadon can't come down anyway. Gargadon can't come down anyway because they have Pact of Negation. Out of all the stuff they did this turn, one of those things was get a Pact of Negation. Who? So, uh, I gotta say, we have played decks like this before. I think this was by far the worst of it. So, yes, we played weird matchups in some of them. Yes, I'm sure we punted in some of them. Yes, we definitely lost to the Moto Bug with Restore Balance and Fae of Wishes, but... I was not even a little bit impressed with Fires of Invention. I don't think it was good in a single one of our matches. Uh, it cost us a game because of its two spell limit. It got stuck in our hand a lot of times because it's so expensive. So I got to say it was actually pretty disappointing. And Fae of Wishes felt just actively horrible. Like, I would much rather that be an opt or something to smooth out our deck. Fae of Wishes... It's so expensive, and our tutor targets are not really that impactful for the most part. So, I don't know. Looking at it, I was excited because I love Restore Balance. I love the idea of the free spell deck. But I actually think that the new additions to the deck, Fires of Invention and Fae of Wishes, actually made the deck way, way worse than the old versions of the deck. So, we can... We'll grab, we'll grab a few pity chests, thanks to the Moto Bug. But yeah... I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure we'll play it again, uh, something similar in the future, but I definitely do not plan on, on doing, uh, the Fae of Wishes plan again. Fires of Invention, I still think, could be good. I'm curious to try, like, maybe a mono-red version with just Electrodominance and Fires, but Fae of Wishes felt pretty bad. Pretty bad, I think. All right, we'll we'll get it. We'll get a couple pity chests because that was definitely a pitiful, a pitiful performance. If there was ever a deck that deserved deserved a few pity chests, it's this one. We'll we'll do ten. Ten pity chests. Ten pity chests, and maybe that'll turn things around. The good news is next stream and moving forward, standard web bannings and Pioneer will be on Magic Online, which means we're gonna have a new format to play starting on Thursday, and I'm super excited for that. So, oh, we made it through. We made it through our our wait and see stream, waiting for standard, waiting for Pioneer, and I mean we will definitely still do. Thank you for the bits, by the way. Right? Radio. Um, we will definitely still do modern, but I'm excited for those four bets. So let's get our pity chest. Ten pity chest. Chest number one of ten. We get. Yeah. Gives ungiven. I don't think gives ungiven is worth anything though. It doesn't really see play anywhere anymore. Gives ungiven. Yeah. It's actually like two dollars. I guess it's still played in uh in the storm deck, which is like still kind of tierish. Not top tier, but all right. Two. Two bucks is not bad for a treasure chest. Isperia the Inscrutable. Kind of a sweet Sphinx Commander. Dissipation Field. I think this card is actually like... Um, oh, maybe it's not this one. I was thinking of the Proliferate one. I was going to say it's expensive in paper, but I think it's the Proliferate enchantment from the same set that's expensive. Sanguine Praetor. Good hit in Momir. Chancellor of the Dross. Yeah. Okay, Hinton Momir. <laughs> Part of the least likely to work combo of all time. Leonin Abunis. The wrong Abunis. Uh, wrong Leonin. The Cat Jesus Leonin. The better of the bunch. Simeon Spectre. Not one of the better Spectres either. Uh, so far, these chests have been on par for our league. Nightpack Ambusher. Good standard card. 25 play points. Halfway through, and we our best card's Gift Ungiven. We need some... Well, all right. Badlands. Badlands is probably worth a little bit. It's not one of the better original dual lands, but they all got to be worth something. Eh, all right. It's actually like, oh, $1, 128 All right, not worth that much after all. <laughs> Faded Intervention, Spy to Vish, uh, We fight Spine a few times. Not worth anything. Ugh, ugh. The duels are pretty cheap. 20 play points, Ghosts of Innocence. I guess that's kind of Halloween themed. Two more to go. We get. Well, at least we got some cool art on one of the. 
one of the least playable adventures. Reverse the Sands is unique, especially in multiplayer. Is that allowed in uh, Commander? Why don't I ever see that in Commander? Is that banned? It might be. Jaleva during Instigator and huh, our pity chests were just as pitiful as uh, <laughs> as the league that got us there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, this deck didn't go too well. We did restore balance people a couple times, but record-wise, not great, not great, not great. It's not banned. I'm going to have to play more Reverse of Sands, just as like a fun trolley card, political card. Being able to switch around life totals seems sweet. Uh, Historic Knights look look fun, Stone Rain production. I would definitely consider, I think, History of Benalia. I think that's one of the best knight cards we've had in a while. So I think even in uh, Historic, I would still consider that. So that might be something to keep in mind, but seems like a, a pretty solid idea. Emberleaf too, sweet. Oh, and I think everyone on that note, I think that brings us to the end of our stream for tonight. I don't think we're gonna be able to mill mirror tonight, but we will we will be doing some super fun <laughs> some super fun hopefully pioneer next stream which i'm excited for so i'm hyped for that and if we're playing pioneer we're playing magic online so hopefully we get to do mo more mirroring Milmoring in the future. Uh, but reminders on the way out the door tonight. I can't wait for Pioneer either. I'm hyped for that. Um, oh, the list was sweet, Nesmith. I definitely liked it. Uh, definitely looked cool. Replay YouTube. That's where you find all the old streams. Normal YouTube. Tons of stuff coming up. Legacy tonight on Series TBD. Some Against the Odds action tomorrow playing Modern. So keep an eye out for all that stuff. One more reminder that our sponsor tonight is Card Kingdom. And if you need some new magic cards of any type, you can get them at cardkingdom.com. Even grab a Saffron Olive sticker if you want to. Just mention it in your order note. So thank you so much to Card Kingdom for supporting the show. Most importantly, thank you to all of you for being awesome, hanging out, donating, subscribing, just having fun tonight, even in a losing effort. That is uh, our goal. Even when things go bad, hopefully we see all the fun. I still had fun, despite our punts and our losing and our moto bugs. So hopefully you all had fun as well. Have a wonderful middle of this week. We will be back on Thursday with a super sweet, super special Pioneer stream, first Pioneer stream. So until then, have a wonderful night and yeah, I'll see you Thursday.